All right. Good day, my people. Good day. Welcome to the program today. I know a lot of people have been waiting all along to see our wonderful guest. We've been waiting all along to see our wonderful <laughs> guest. So we are super, super, super happy to have him here. Uh, sorry for the late starts. Yeah, it's one of those things. But we're here now. It's only 10.35. Today is July the 10th of 2021. My name is Mona Chimsa. <laughs> And I am here in Houston, Texas. I will have my beautiful sisters introduce themselves. Hey, good morning, viewers. Uh, thank you for being part of today. We have a very wonderful guest. Please, if you have wool in your ear, pull them out. Pull any wool you have in your ears because it's about to dissect. You know what? To dissect, you know, it's such a <laughs> we are talking about. We are so, so happy to have you. Uh, my name is Dr. Gustavo Sika. I'm in Richmond, Texas. Thank you for being here. Yes, ma'am. Well, thank you. Uh, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you, um, my sisters. Thank you, Dr. Basiki. We've been waiting to have you, and we're glad you're here. Uh, my name is Dr. Ekwe Simon Okube, Lexington, Kentucky. Before we go, let's give us uh, food for thoughts. You see, opinion is different from facts. Before you form an opinion, please get your facts right. It is true that everyone is entitled to his or her own opinion, but an opinion not based on facts and truth. We only entertain whoever that chose to have such an opinion. We are here to help our viewers form opinions based on facts and truth. Please join us. Share, like, subscribe. Thank you. Thank you. Of course, you have to share and like and subscribe. Uh, this is the only way people will, you know, get uh, access to this information. We are not here to monetize this page. We just want the information to go far and wide. So whatever we can do to help us get this done, we did a good job last week. You know, a lot of share, a lot of sharing button was clicked. And that's what we are looking for because our people are looking for answers. You know, right now we are at the almost at the end of the road and they're trying to understand where we're going. So please, whatever role you can play to get this information out there, the better for us. Of course, our topic today is destroying the seed of discord sown amongst the ethnic nationalities, the perspective of Midwest region. Uh, so you will get a, 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 an ear load of this information that we are sharing today. But according to uh, Second Chronicles 7, verse 14, it says, wow. my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and will heal their land. So as true people of God, we are the true one called by his name. We know that anywhere in the world, we are the one that answers such name as Olisa, or Basi, Oluwa, Chupu Okike, Igwe. Even most of our names is attached to these godly uh, uh, names. So we are the true uh, children of God. And these names for over the millions of years bind us together as children of God. But however, through the work of the British cri criminal colonizers, that's what I call them. They use the, they, they, oh yeah, that's who they are. They use the uh, divide and rule to plant a seeds of this God amongst us and they use us to fight against each other. While we worked as brothers and sisters before the arrival, they made us forget who we are, the chosen ones. So instead of working together, we are pointing fingers while they steal our resources. You can imagine if we go back to the word of God in Chronicles, how our lives will immediately change. So our wonderful guest is here to plant the good seed of recognition of our similarities, as well as other attributes that bind us together as one. He said, a nation like Nigeria does not exist anywhere else in the world, a place where people are coupled together against their wish under a terrible arrangement. Our guest, Dr. Don Pedro Obaseki. He is a man wearing several caps. He is currently the President General of the Midwest People Movement, Edo Delta Indigenous People's Welfare Association. He's also a professor of history and literacy studies, both at home and abroad. Who tell it the way it is? Get ready, guys, because this guy here, he does, he does not play. 
So make well, use of this. You're going to hear the truth. He is not a stranger to liberation movement. He's he has worked at both as a student, a staff lecturer, an activist. He's been to political jails. He's done it all. He knows he knows how this whole process. So as one of the founders, he's also a household name in Nollywood. Some of his wonderful work include the Dodo, Aziza. He also worked as my the list is on is endless. But most of all, the one that is important to me that he's also an in-law to the great evil nation. <laughs> that part I'm going to clap for. <laughs> Today is going to help us to tease out the truth from the big lies and failures that Nigeria has become. So I'm going to start today's video so that you guys can get an idea where we're going with today's topic. Uh, give me a moment. Sisters, do you want to add something while I pull up this video? I want to welcome more guy okay. Is that not how it's said? Good <laughs> day. <laughs> I'm very happy to be here. Um, it is not easy to be, you know, is it Daniel in the lion's den? <laughs> <laughs> I'm in a den of female of, of 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 lionesses and Amazons who have taken the Nigerian project by this by the cough and the scoff. So I have to rescue our people from this unbridled hegemony. And I truly believe that it is the will of God that we 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 all begin to talk together. So I have to take away this scourge that our people have been faced with. Thank you, my brother. Here is our first video. Congress has reaffirmed that it will no longer be committed to the Nigerian project if fiscal federalism is not implemented by the federal government. Its resolution is coming just a week after meeting with President Muhammadu Buhari. The executive of the Social Cultural Ijo Elite Body says it has communicated this message to the British Council. Now the bodies of this nation on our shoulders for too long. And it is time we have to place minimum conditions. The first condition is the issue of restoration of true federalism. And number two, you have to place us as non-bachanized people. You cannot scatter us into states and make us minorities. You cannot be in a country where slaves, where we produce the resources of sustained inspiration. If these minimum conditions are not met, we are no longer committed to the Nigeria project. And that if we are living as a Ijo republic, we shall do it peacefully and legally. That was the message we placed on the floor and the message we are sending to the British High Commission, to the British government, to come and undo what they did, that has placed us where we You can say that again, to come and undo what they did. What they did. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to help them to undo what they did this time around. We are not allowing the criminal, the criminal colonizers to come and undo what they did. Because God knows what they were planning to steal our resources. All right, so I'm trying to play the second video. Please give me a moment. Hmm. Maybe to come on and do what they did. That's funny. The document that is being used in the governance of the country. The constitution, as far as I am concerned, and I like as you do well know, the constitution is an aberration. It is not proper. It is supposed to be a document that will be fair, that will take care of the interest of the people. Today, we can say that that constitution is in favor of the North. Mm -hmm. Can I? use the word even though it has been used often acne the new nation called nigeria is an estate of our great grandfather Uthman Danfodio, and that will ruthlessly resist 
any change of power mm -hmm. using the minorities of the north as well as tools and the south as a conquered territory mm -hmm. never to allow them think about their well-being and we should not allow any of them to rule over us mm -hmm. these are things that have been stated since 1960 i can tell you that the is that there is an imbalance and it is not proper so and in that constitution the president has the powers of doing what he feels that like doing i can tell you the avengers came up in 2006 People can will tell us that why didn't they do all of that when good luck a man from the south side was was the president Look, rulership is a continuum good luck was a president he left office so president Buhari took over so whatever that was left before that they didn't take care of must continue there are issues that were laid down before amnesty was granted and those things we are going on from mr president came on board what are we talking about development of the place mm. so we are also going to understand that it, 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 only when we take some arms militancy that is when they listen to us that was what happened during 1966 when it some people started looking for state creation from 1940 after regionalization in 1939, no state was created for his own people for self-identity, even though they went to Lancaster House, where they said we should be recognized as the group of people. We came, um, we went there and said we need to have a state created for us. We went to they the criminals. Agree. It was sense. only when I the group you know, went into militancy that his state was created after 27 years. And that is what that has come on to them. So you will not blame any group of young men that are agitating in the South, in the Niger Delta region. Avengers not different. Uh, now, Avengers have been um, under for some years now, for some three, three years now. Um, let's check out what happened within that three years. That there was no not a, no agitation from them. What level of development was experienced in the United There was no development. <laughs> By the time we were able to secure what we call ceasefire, these young men respected the elders, the people that approached them, discussed with them. And after all of that, they now told the elders what they want that should be brought to the table. Which were? which were development of the area, you know, the University of um, the Maritime University, opening roads, mm -hmm. infrastructure. Look at the East West Road that was given, awarded since 2006, 15 years ago. All right. It has not been completed. But. Right. So they are seeking for help from the people that have a uh, Kotiwu in their ear, like my sister Augusta would say. So that was Chief E.K. Ogoriba. He believes that the 1999 constitution is an issue. What is the perspective of the Midwest region on this, Dr. Beseki? <clears throat> Nigeria is a lie. <laughs> you know, because, um, you know, when I see hear people talk about the 1999 constitution in isolation, I just feel if, I, if this man or this person was a PhD student, he will fail woefully. You see, life is a graph. And as an academic, for me, everything is a thesis. It is thesis, antithesis, then I'll create a synthesis. Now, for you to be talking about the 1999, I'll come to that. You will look at the entire reason for us to come together, or why we were brought together, why we were forcefully. An amalgam is an adjunct. You know, it's like in chemistry, you have mixture and compound. When you carry rice, poram with gari, 
come pour on with Sansan, come pour on with beans, is a mixture. But once you carry uh, raw gari, carry water, put them for fire, or carry and come out, you have baked a new entity. When you carry pepper, you carry salt, you carry ugiri, you carry uh, uh, um, okay. whatever. Okay, you mix them together. It becomes a new offer. It cannot decide depending on where it is an open salad or is open with it. You see, now that will be a compound taking on a new identity. Nigeria was an amalgam. Let me practically describe it. And a joining together of persons and of places that have little or no connection with one another ab initio. Until, but if you, you see, I want to let people know that once you go to the document written to the how to the House of Commons in in 1913, in 1914, immediately after the amalgamation by Mr. Lord Lugard, <laughs> which was been released by the uh, Information and Learning Company in a copyrighted thing of the House of Commons Parliamentary Papers Online in 2006, it's copyrighted. It's not released by Pedro. It's really, it was written by the devil who will go to hell. Who I know is in hell. Mm -hmm. if, I don't know who is in heaven, but I know who is in hell. Mm -hmm. And that man's name is Mr. Frederick Lugard. I don't use the word Lord. He's not Lord. He's a, he's a Mephistopheles. He's the Satan's lieutenant. In that is paper, in section 5, Article A, Section 5A, he, he, he called it necessity for amalgamation. I don't cram up. That is how bad it is. You know, he explained that from this date, the Southern Nigeria and Lagos colony in 1906 became one administration under the title of Colony and Protectorate of Nigeria. And from this date, the material prosperity of the South increased with astonishing rapidity and he now quoted the liquid duties that had increased in that time frame by almost a million pounds as a 99 he said they yielded a sum of one million one hundred and thirty eight thousand pounds in 1913. in in the next paragraph he said the north largely dependent on the annual grant from the imperial government was barely able to balance its budget with the most parsimonious economy. You have to understand. And was starved of the necessary staff. That they couldn't raise money. They had no commerce. And they had no staff. And we were unable to find funds to house even the officers of the British government. He says, these energies were concentrated upon the development of the native administration and the revenue resulting from direct taxation. And he says that one portion, why one portion, which is southern Nigeria, no, which, uh, which is northern Nigeria, was dependent on the grant paid by the British taxpayers, which in the year of amalgamation stood at 136,000 and had averaged 314,500 pounds for the 11 years ending in March 2012. But however, the, the southern part have yielded a sum of 1 million one hundred and thirty-eight thousand pounds in 1913. Wow. Now, why did I quote this? It is important that we know that the reason Nigeria was put together wasn't even because of administrative convenience. It was because of the fact that there was a, a schematic from 1906 to make sure that the North is pacified because of to use the words of Lord Buga, they are parsimonious economy and the inability of them to even grow staff to run their own companies. So we became like the donkeys that on whom the north must piggyback because of a man who is roasting somewhere in hellfire. Lord or whoever dishonorable Satan Luga. That is why we are where we are. Now, Nigeria has 
I was in a conference we had yesterday on our Zoom conference of the Midwest movement. One of our professors, Professor Igor Natufe, is the president general of the Okpe Union. Okpe is one tribe in, in, uh, in Delta State. And he said Nigeria has done seven restructuring to date. And I was shocked when he said it. But that is the truth. When in 1949, Richard Simfers came up with that idea of creating regions, that was the first structure. That was the structure. Moving us together by force, by fiat, into one administrative unit is a structure. In 1949, they came up with three regions, new structure. In 19, um, uh, 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 1963, we were now four regions, another structure. So as to make sure that Biafra was locked out, Gowan created a new structure in, 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 in 1967 and bacchanized Nigeria into 12 states, divide and rule. He now went on. In, 19, in February 3rd, 1976, Moritala Mohammed bacchanized Nigeria into 19 states. In 2000, and, and there was a 2019 state, which was turned in, into 21 states in 1987 by Babangida. Babangida again did the sixth one in 1991. It turned out into 30 states. And to celebrate our 36th anniversary on the 1st of October, 19. Uh, uh, 96. The only reason that Abacha had was that we are 36 years old today, so we let us be 36 states. And he created six more states. People who sat behind the sanctuary of their locked doors, we don't even know whether they drink paraga. We don't know whether they are high on something. And they fleece away and legislate away the patrimony of, of everybody. So now I cannot, knowing that we were a forcefully cobbled together amalgam, amalgamation, we can now begin to see why those structure and restructuring and restructuring and tinkering and we keep going on. It's like somebody sitting with tools to fix a badly uh, uh, created shoe. You will continue to be a bad cobbler. We'll be wallpapering our problems and Nigeria will remain where it's meant to be. And that is one step forward and a thousand steps backwards. Everything we face today are not new. If you listen to the words of Fela, you will think Fela is alive now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The Nepal situation has gone worse. Light is gone. Our religious bodies have become fleecing avenues for making the poor poorer. According to Karl Marx, he said religion is the opiate of the masses. He, today, Nigeria is worse than it was. He described us in, 19, in Nigeria in 1985 as beast of no nation. When he sang about Buhari, he said, when I day inside prison, I call him inside ward. Now I day outside prison, I call him outside ward, not create ward, not be outside ward, not be there Buhari day. Now, Chris man be that animal in human skin. The man couldn't have been involved in the present political shenanigan for him to have described so succinctly what is yet to happen. Mm -hmm. Nigerians don't realize that when we look at Mr. Buhari today, General Muhammad Buhari today, or whatever coloration he was repackaged to us, it's like somebody carrying, so, so, so look at him, only oh, carrier and seller of shit. And you package it now, put the whole shit, cover it with icing, and sell it at McDonald's, at something brand new. But we know inside of it, it is full of elemental poo, -poo. Now, let's look at 1999 Constitution. Yakasai and Yadudu, advisors to Mr. Abacha, inherited by Mr. General Abu Salam. Why was they inherited? They had proposed a crazy constitution which led Alex Ekweme in 1990, I think it was 1996, 
to propose that we split Nigeria into six geopolitical zones. Those geopolitical zones that we call it today, uh, South, 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 East, Northwest, da, da, da. they are not East, North Central, Southwest. They are not, they, are, they have no place in our confusion. They are nowhere. They are just social media uh, bandit, nothing there. Yeah. So when I hear them say it, I just laugh. It has no basis in law. So he created six vice presidents. Six. Now, the, those people, when they came out, they came out with five political parties. All the five political parties. We still have all those who are now in government today. Adopted a rogue killer, Abacha, as their candidate. As the sole candidate. Then myself and a few of us, I don't want to name their names, and one of them who just died of late, Uncle Yinka may also continue to rest in peace in Kadumaki. We were driving Radio Kudira from one place in Lagos to another so as to avoid Sergeant Rogers from bombing the radio station. It was the idea of, of Professor Wale Shoyinka and my dear friend Matthew. Now, in spite of that, they chose the same person. Those five political parties were described by the late Chibola Ige as the five fingers of a leprous hand. Nigerians have forgotten. We don't remember. Now they, we carry this man today and then they cobble together a constitution. Because Nigerians we are tired and weary of the military. Nobody bothered to look at that constitution. In, in reverse, look at 1963 or 1960 constitution at the Lancaster House. Tony, it's it, 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 pleasant at that amongst you. Tony, let us be very honest with you. I am surrounded by three women. That is trouble. Bini man, indeed, Bini. Well, on a serious and a more serious note. The 1999 Constitution is a lie. It is a big, fat lie. Because the first line at the opening of the Constitution, it says, we, the people. A lie. For that we, the people, to make sense, it means that if you are from Isikwato, or you are from, okay, let, let's just, you don't know, use the villages. If you are from Ali Igbo, Igbo land has different dialects and clans. So somebody must come from Eri. Somebody must come from Ingwe. Somebody must come from, from, from Ingwa land. There must be an MBC man sitting in the hall. There must be somebody from Indemili. There must be somebody from Imbitoli Kedu. There must be people sitting to determine what is the Igbo stand in this new constitution. There must be somebody from Benin. There must be an Ora man, a Shekri man. There must be a Bachama man. There must be a Zuru man. There must be somebody from, from all the ethnic nationalities of the South South. We are 65. So when we sit, like they did in 1960 to 1963, to write that 1963 Republican Constitution that was based, if you ask me today, Pedro, who was the Shekri man that was at the Constitutional Conference? I won't think twice. I will just say chief out of press. I will tell you, oh, that Mokugu Okoye was there. I will tell you, okay, Tafa Balewa was there. Now, in 1999, who was there? Who represented Equitos in Ambo? Who represented Misa Nosike? Who represented daughters of of who even represented our rogue brother, Namdekano, and the people of Umwaya, and the areas he comes from? Who represented the Isikwato people? Who represented the Bemohafia? I'm making this because I'm talking to Indigo. The Constitution is a lie. And until you open that big fat lie and punch that balloon so that the oozing, dirty, crazy 
life reading air is let out nigeria remains born dead hmm. in 1960 in 1959 my professor yeah in fact i in short, when i was reading one of his works it's one of his articles very rare article is titled the cradle of being and nothingness that is professor wale Shoinka. in 1970 1959 he wrote a play which was actually at the beginning commissioned for the nigerian independence project but when the people saw it when those people who were going to do independence saw it they refused to show it because in it it showed nigeria as a forest of a thousand demons it showed nigeria as a huge behemoth where the the chief he called it the smoking never ending retarding culture that he lived with growing up even in Ake in Abelkuta, living and going to, to work in Ibadan, going to school in Ibadan, going to the United Kingdom. He saw that Nigeria was alive. And he described Nigeria there as the Abiku, a child born dead. That is, he was visionary enough mm -hmm. to know that there is that he said he said you owe you zero in the zero of nothing nigeria was a perfect zero now in the 1999 constitution the people looked at the entire constitution the two full i don't want to use Hausa because Hausa also has marginalized the Hausa man has been silly marginalized i when my friends asked me who would be Hausa? i'll be out i'll be full and i'll say okay listen that man when black, when he, he knows, they boom, almost resemble your nose. And he's just content with selling sweet and carrying water and being your megad. He's not bothered about the nest. He's not bothered. He doesn't find trouble. How mm -hmm. The one when he knows, point small. When he want resemble Arab. When in brothers be like the ones when he come from Mauritania, from Mali. When he hear quest. Like on the other, it won't look as it be small. It be like say you carry man from Egypt, paint and black, right? And you know they smile. If they carry long dagger waka, nobody follow and play. If nobody they find in trouble. If they carry dagger waka, mm. by nature he is violent. By nature he is nomadic. By nature he moves from people's lands to people's land to people's land. By nature, he has migrated from the highlands of the Futa Jalon Plateau and walked across six, seven, eight countries in present day West Africa. A man who can afford to trek for 3,000 kilometers of land that doesn't belong to him and appropriate it while going on. It is simple. That is the man that is a problem. And in Nigeria, the authentic Pueh, P U E L, that is the original name they call themselves whom you call Fulani, or who speaks a language they call Fufude. They don't speak, they are not native Hausa speakers. And they are not Muslims like we all majorly think. Only those who live in the towns, they call them town Fulani. They are the ones who are Muslims. The real cattle-rearing headsman Fulani worships the cattle. He's an animist. He's worse than a Judo worshiper. That is a problem by nature he wasn't designed by god to live among humans mm -hmm. that is the truth mm -hmm. we cannot run away from that so when you are looking at the situation where somebody will just walk into your community and kill everybody it is because ab initial his culture tells him that it is the life of an eye for an eye mm -hmm. he, he is brought up in the hammurabi code of law an eye for an eye so if you if I have a problem with anybody, the best way to solve this is to kill him and kill all his family so that none of his family can come back and take revenge on me. So it's a scotch edge, scotch edge policy. That is how they were brought up. So when he gets up and says that, like uh, like uh, my honorable Goriba, Goriba, Goriba said, you know, as Karibe said, that he walks up and says he wants to take the he wants to continue the jihad of 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 of, of, of mr 
Danfodio. Usman or Usman Shew Usman Danfodio. Mm -hmm. And take what you see. It is something that is ingrained and embedded in his DNA. Mm -hmm. And hence the president can stay on national television in a broadcast watched by everybody on planet Earth mm -hmm. and say that his first allegiance is not to the constitution to which he spoke, not the oath, but to his brothers. He said they are my full and brothers. I cannot ignore them. It's just like you coming to tell me today that because Mr. Mr. Uh, uh, what was his name? Donald Trump was Irish and German. His first thing should be to protect Dublin and Ireland mm -hmm. than to protect people in Texas. Mm -hmm. Okay, connectivity issue. That's fine. Uh, while we're waiting for him to come back, we will play the uh, subsequent video. Uh, sisters, you guys can hear me, right? Come yes, this okay. Yes. okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. okay. Um, all right. It's Sorry, man. Um, I think they were no, it's just not to know. Yeah, maybe they don't they try to block my internet again. It's, it's, it's not the uh, it's not, it's not let me bypass them please it's not unusual <laughs> it's what we have to live with uh, uh coolio that american rapper once called it gangsters paradise that is where we all live <laughs> <You know>? so, <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it's a, they they it's a, you remember that song they're shaping those allies living in a gangsters paradise you know that is what they are trying to they are turning all of us into brigands you know, so but you see, many man say gra gra fight and gra gra fall. Now they follow each other. The 1999 constitution must be stripped bare. The 1999 constitution is a false testimony, and it must be stripped bare for Nigeria to move forward. Listen carefully to this: for Nigeria. To move forward or whatever remnant of that nigeria is to move forward nigeria must be structurally deconstructed nigeria must there's no there is it um i used the word wallpaper before and i just told you we've done seven restructures before now not to talk about the on the other restructures that we are not activated like the 2006 uh, uh, obasanjo uh, constitutional conference that was premised on the third term agenda, or like the 2014 brilliant stuff they did, you know, trying to wallpaper everything. But it's if you don't work, because it's a lie. I mean, it's a lie. It's like trying to build a what a new World Trade Center or build the Verrazano Bridge on quicksand. Mm -hmm. it doesn't work. You get my point. There is a structural defect, and that structural defect is not minuscule. It is a gargantuan structural defect. Now, in Nigeria, they will tell you, where are you from? But they won't say it directly. You are feeling firm to be employed. They will say, what is your name? Say, Ekwi. Ekwi who? You talk your papa name. They will say your other name, middle name, so that they want to know whether you are Muslim or Christian. Okay, you say, oh, uh, her name is uh, uh, Agatha or Angela. Okay, in the Igbo. They don't put them. Then they will not ask, what is your state of origin? Then they will not ask, what is your local government area? They may even ask for your village. I walk on the streets of America and I stop somebody and I ask him, what is your state of origin? He will be confused. Because he's American. Mm -hmm. So you can give that to Miss, Miss, Mrs. Hillary Rodham Clinton somewhere. She becomes the first lady in the state of Arkansas. Okay. The husband runs for governor there. Then she retires from the White House. 
And because she has met the minimum requirement to live in any place and pay taxes in New York City, she runs for, for Senate in New York. Accepted. So we have a man who wants to run for office in Nigeria. He's an Igbo man born in Kara Namuda. He grows in Kara Namuda. He has opened a business in Kara Namuda. He has built skyscrapers in Kara Namuda. He has married in Kara Namuda. He has contributed month every month or every year to the total earnings of, of Kebbi State. <sighs> but he, he does not run for the lowest councillor seat. Meanwhile, in Nigeria, the average Nigerian man, me, Pedro, I bought my son, my daughter for New York. And the next week, she has a, a, a social security number. I and mean, then I write, I don't even bother to go to the where they get, I don't even know where they get a passport. I just send it by post. They will send it back to me by post. And she's American. Like my daughter keeps putting on her that she doesn't like Donald Trump. But daddy, I was born in the same hospital. You know, Queens, uh, you know, Jamaica Hospital, Queens, New York. So she feels good. She was born in the daddy, maybe I was not even born on the same bed. But do we I have such thing with my president? Who doesn't talk to anybody? Who will sit and watch a thousand people slaughtered in one fair swoop in the Benway Plateau in Makodi, and people have to be lined by trailers because vehicles could not take the multitude of coffins, and it didn't bother. There's no, I mean, they are just five percent of uh, instead of the ninety-seven percent. They are dogs. It they are they are dogs in a circle. <laughs> now let's come i just i just those are preambles the 1999 constitution did a extra extra damage astronomical damage the first damage was one it took from everybody what is federal about nigeria mm -hmm. i can understand that okay in the 19 other in the military era 29 years of military rule they were doing things by fiat so they can legislate away our fiscal federalism. Nigeria is just federal only on the front page of the constitution. Nothing else is federal about it. We are a unitary state. Now, on that thing, they removed the, and in the 1979 constitution, they removed the entire revenue sharing formula matrix. And my governor, the governor then of the then uh, Bender State, Professor Ambrose Falon Shali, went to court. He won that case a, by a month and a half later, it was overthrown by Buhari. Now, in the last one, they gave 13% as the minimum. They also refused. The then governors of the South South, led by uh, the Akwa Ibon governor and James Iborio of Delta State, went to court to fight for that 13% derivation. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What Professor Tekena Tamuno once said that your 13% derivation is actually equals to 87% deprivation. Now, we come home. Why they were doing their conquest in the early part of the, uh, in the late part of the, of the, of the, of the 19th century? The 19th, I mean, 18, 18 something, 18 something, 18 something. What they did was this. In Igbo land, they looked at Igbo. I keep telling my friends that the Igbos are actually more a, a language, a linguistic group than a tribe. They looked at Indi Igbo and appointed Warren chiefs. You look at a set of persons who by nature are egalitarian. Where, who is the fittest should be in control. So if you are the most intelligent, you should rule. If you are the most wealthy, if you are the most resourceful, you should be in position of wealth and power. But today, Nigeria is skewed so that the worst of us will keep ruling over and taking over the rest and even the best of us. Now, you dismantle it using the war and chiefs. People went on riot. The Abba women went on riot. Persons who they first saw as the wretched of their earth were now the ones dispensing rulership. When they were not ab initial voted by the 
by the city by the village council that was the beginning of the problem so all they started doing was drawing lines so i'm in a way my father takes me in the year 2000 to go and marry my beautiful wife Uchenna, Uabugu, Akon. and we are there and my dad thinking we are in a way stands up to say Ah, eh, Ibo Kwenu, everybody say, hey, eh, eh, oh, with the people Kwenu, I mean, the man doesn't speak Ibo. And an elderly man sitting there, off of Kigwe Road, you know, in, in, I mean, so I didn't know that place was in Mbiri then. Got up and said, in law, we are not aware. That place there is aware, as you are going towards Douglas, that is aware. This is in Mbiri. That he did not even wait for strangers to depart. I land at the airport in Oweri, Oweri Airport, and I came down from the airport. It was years ago, and the taxi driver that carried me said, "Ah, the site was Ungopala is blocked. He wants to take inside MBC and go and take around." I say, "Okay." I say, "Oweri, ah, this Oweri Airport. No, he said, oh, God, this is not Oweri. This is MBC." And that place is Abumbi, say, don't call us away. You know, what I'm saying this is, a time has come for Indigo to push away whatever elemental flimsiness that separates you. They are artificial. They don't exist within the cobbled network of the other major tribes, particularly in the north, and even the Yoruba. Many people don't realize that the word Yoruba did not exist until the 18th and 19th century. Until the fall of Ilori, Yoruba did not exist. Everybody were living in separate parakos. It was a kiti parakbo, a parakbo, a parakbo. That was what they were. They never saw themselves as Yoruba. But today they see themselves as Yoruba. And they don't even want to be told that they were not Yoruba. And when they were forming their parties, I'm talking to the people, you have to go back. And look at it clearly. In 1949, they were to start creating political parties. This is history. That is fecundated, marked history. And the House of the Northerners, led by the Reverend Dr. Diko, formed the Jamatu Nasri Arewa. That is the party they now changed into the Northern People's Congress. Listen to this. Northern People's Congress. What do you mean? Easterners are not invited. Midwesterners are not invited. Westerners are not invited. It was a party for the North by the North with the North and the North. But the Igbos carried National Council of Nigeria and the Cameroon. NCNC. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Later, when Cameroons left, they changed it to National Council of Nigerian Citizens. Now, the other very progressive party in the north was also Aminu Kanu, a great man. But his own party was NEPU, Northern Elements Progress Union. So, certain elements are not invited. Eastern, Midwestern, Bendel, Western, Yoruba elements, but the Yoruba started with Egbe Omo Odudua, Egbe Losiwa the Yoruba, which metamorphosed into the action group. They were magnanimous enough to, to have used an English thing. So we had Northern people, Northern people. Then the Middle Belt was of, uh, led by Dr. Joseph Taka. Their own party was only for the Middle Belt. They don't want to see any other person. United Middle Belt Congress. Now, Amongst the South, the ethnic nationalities of the South, apart from the monolithic Yoruba, when the Yorubas are together, I keep telling people, if Nigeria is to break today, the most ready part is, 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 is Yoruba land. FFK will go on television and insult Tinubu. Uh, Fire Shea will be insulted by the other man when they were doing their Oduduwa match in Ibadan. You will be shocked. The welcome speech was read by Dr. Dosumu, daughter of Awolowo 
an auntie of the vice president's wife against Nigeria, asking for restructure. In that place, they were one. On the high table, sitting side by side, we are two cats and dogs who fight every day in our public space. You don't put it down here, the next person went sit down here. Now, fire your shit. They did not, when it comes to things, they have what they call the developmental agenda of Western Nigeria. They call it the dawn agenda, D A W N, like a new dawn. And the thing is gazetted, and then they shared it out like a limited liability company and gave equal shares to all the states. So those funding the developmental agenda for Western Nigeria, who were the prime proponents of our motel, are all the states of Western Nigeria, of the Southwest. Each of them with different political parties. When they started, Ondo was PDP. Equity was PDP. Uh, Oshu, Oyo, and the rest. We are APC. But they sacrificed their pdp ness and their apc ness for their euro banks. but will indeed will do that will the south south my own people do that maybe yes i cannot speak for the south south portion that we are aggregated from the old eastern nigeria i cannot i'm not i'm not competent enough but as an Edo man with a full delta blood I traverse the value chain. I speak beneath like I speak Urobo. Mokwaka, but more Urobo. And Urobo people know that they are my brothers. So when I enter there and I say money, man, they know what I'm talking about. Because they knew I grew there, I worked there, my parental backgrounds are there. We have a commonality that cannot be broken, a cultural, linguistic, as well as historic historic uh, 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 um, connection that cannot be broken by 25,000 Buhari. Hmm. At the end of the day, I will use the Midwest as the example of how a federated Southern Nigeria, if it goes that way, can work. In 1949, the Oba of Benin, Oba Akenzoa, led the fight for the creation of the Midwest because we are not Yorubas and we were in the West. In spite of the fact that a portion, about 15% of our population spoke Igbo languages, they still also claimed ancestry, um, uh, ancestral connections to Benin. So the vanguard of that movement was Chukude, Osade, Dennis Chukude Osadebe. The vanguard of Oba Akenzwa, Sir Chief Jereton Marere, are oppressed uh, Anthony and in, in, in all of them came together John Ekre Otobo the people of all the ne ethnic nationalities Shaka Momo they came together and said we want to create our own state or our own region because we have a peculiarity that that area of the Niger Delta that was that was referred to as the Bini Empire prior to 1897, mm -hmm. prior to the 1885 Berlin Conference, prior, prior to all the signing of the funny treaties between 19, 1861, when there was the annexation and ceding of Lagos by Obadosumu in perpetuity. In perpetuity. Lagos was signed away in perpetuity to the British. No other part of Nigeria did that. But the other signed treaties. But Benin did not. Now, when I say Benin, I don't mean Edo. When I say Benin, I mean that latitude from Opela to Patani to Focados to Escravos to Benin River to Non River to Asaba to Undoni to, to Akotobo in the present day on those things. They refused. So, as a result of that, in December 1896, led by Vice Consul Galloway, they took a, 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 an expedition into Benin when Benin was doing the Igwe Festival. And as a people who were, how will I put it, independent, we attacked the British. Sorry. We die here. We killed them. Now only we kill Oibo. 
And Oibo came back with Admiral Beecroft with three frigates and a warship, moved from South Africa and Sierra Leone and attacked us. And Benin was brought to, 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 to a standstill in February, February 1897. So three years later, they successfully now amalgamated the whole southern part and declared the, the southern protectorate of Nigeria. Wow. Wow. So wow. we, wow. Wow. yeah, so we, we, we registered, we, we are small. Benin man say, eh, yen do kama uzaze, alligator pepper small, but no use and play. Yes. He yes. will burn you. <laughs> <laughs> we are not dotting you, Mr. Buhari stand. Let yeah. me go and ask you yeah. that the mighty, mighty behemoth did not stop David from downing Goliath. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He should go and learn from history. Forget the way Biafra was fought. I will come that quickly. So that Biafra people will know that Biafra is a state of mind, not a rogue franchise to be run away by Hello. my dear friend. Hello, y'all. Tell them. Tell them. It's an ideology. You know, an ideology that we have studied an ideology that Fred the Forsyth sat down and wrote about, an ideology we all read going to school, whether it is sunset in Biafra, you know, we must move at dawn, is an ideology. An ideology that, that is beyond the corners of Indigo. They must know that. Do we must know that when you walk into the center of Abidjan, you will be confronted by Biafra, the very center of Abidjan. Do we both know that when they hear Bonaventure Kalu or they hear Solomon Kalu playing for Chelsea, he's my friend, he's Ibo. But he played to the highest level for the Ivory Coast. And when you go there, when you go there, you will still see the place they reveled where Ojuku stayed, where Echuku Emeka Odumegu Ojuku lived in Abidjan. But I'm sure the place he must have lived in Newi, they might be fighting now for the land so that they will sell it to the next bidder. <laughs> no, it, 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 it. Because everything is about money. No. Yes. So <laughs> near Diego, the bed, go go the no megon and turn it. But to have <laughs> 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 no, is it <laughs> you get my point? Yes. Until you realize that the value is greater when you own the structure. It's like wanting to like Coca-Cola. Every time Coca-Cola, you want to keep the Coca-Cola. So somebody is telling you, I can help you build that on the factory. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you must see that larger picture. It is beyond hope for those of the man who seems to be hopeless. It's beyond rochas or corocha. My friend once said rochas. It's like roaches. Yes, Coca-Cola. Well, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. this kind of name. But that doesn't... See, what I'm saying this is this. Indigo had leadership. I still remember growing up, my father talk, used to talk in exponential eulogizing people like Michael Okwara. I was a young man in the university when the, 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 the governor of Imo State was overthrown. I'm talking about uh, Sam Mbakwe. Where are those species of Indigo? Where, no, where are they? We I have to. We have to look for them. Where, where? Oh God, Jesus! Is not. And and Doctor Doctor Don Pedro, you see, Sir, uh, we are really blessed to have you here because that's part of the assignment today. I'm angry. No, to get those species of evils because they are listening to you. It's just that the noise makers are on top making noise. Using the uh, name, like we have week. to let them know that this is a marathon and not a sprint. Exactly. Because mm. last week we told them we differentiated Biafra. They yes. are our, our ancestors. They fought yes. for and yes. differentiated it from the criminality that they've No, let me let me let me, let me help you. See, when you when you are Igbo and you are saying it, then they may think uh, maybe you know they can no side. <laughs> oh, I'm not that kind of saying because he's a criminal. So I'm saying yeah, it. Okay. In, in 2019, I personally had a direct confrontation in the studios of Ben TV with the iPub leadership. Wow. And I told them there, because they told me I was saying, I said, no. 
you cannot move the people forward if you don't raise their brain power upward. The people who seem to be uh, chanting the Biafra franchise are kindergartens when it comes yes, to the yeah. history of Biafra. Mm -hmm. You are here parading disinformation and misinformation. You have put the entire Igbo nation as a shooting range for somehow Safulani hegemony. You are creating room for them to malign and kill and decimate your people. I said, what is your strategic imperative? I said, have you been to Obama Afia? I've been there. I've driven from Umuahia through Sikusikwato, through Bende, down, got to uh, 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 what is, uh, Abriba, drove into Ohafia, went to the, the whole villages of Ohafia, Puriso and Ohafia, the Mesima. I drove from there to Arot. And I wanted to experience why my friend who was with me in Umwaya got to Arochuku by going through Abia State, by going through Akwaibom State. Because the roads were zero. Now, when I got to Bemohafia, the entire one side of the entire Ahafia land, more than 1,200 hectares, more than enough to swallow half of Owere. Have been given to the Nigerian army. My mind bled. I said, Who does that? Your people are looking for food. You don't have land. Indeed, you have no land. And you are giving the entire chunk of the most vegetative part of Abia State. From there until you bust out at this phone and come back again, going back to Uturu. To, 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 to. You gave the entire place to Ndiausa. And you are hailing them. Stooges everywhere. Now, on that, on that, well, and what I'm trying to drive at is this: Biafra is a state of mind. My address go back. Yeah, when the way you they say ah, Nkem Obem, you should put Biafra by the side. So if it's a woman, if it's if if you have a your girlfriend or your wife, I own your Biafra is the mess. <laughs> that is how you should say it. But my friend turned it into a rogue. I will say what I mean by a rogue franchise. I've heard now. I've heard uh, to uh, nah, use that, but I'm sure my analogy will be different. You saw that video that is going around the whole place. I'm among those sharing it. Seeing my friend speaking in 2012 fighting for a united one Nigeria. And I listened to what MSD, I was a I heard what he said. And it is simple logic. I placed both together. And I said, oh, this makes sense. This guy is very lucid. He speaks well. He may be speaking sophistry. That is speaking well enough for people to believe when, even when he lies. Yes. You get my point? Yes, so, yes, yes. be the voice of us. Be the radio behalf. Then when I look at that and saw the speech and saw the way he sacked everybody of IPOP UK. back in the 21st century. 419. It was on air to call women of printable names. Oh. Monkeys? You want a leader and he, before election starts, he calls himself supreme. No, come now. <laughs> and you are following him. I will come today and I will tell the door and Delta people. Uh, my name is Don Pedro Basaki. I'm the Supreme. Yeah. Eh? Well, I'm not the <laughs> I'm the Supreme Leader. You see, well, you see, tyranny is fecundated by men who have little room. To you for independent thought. When you have, I'm sure Namdi was captured there because nobody dare tell him that they are waiting for you that side. This is to himself. You know, when you repeat a lie and a lie and a lie, it becomes a truth for you. So maybe his lie is that it, I've also been to his father's house. Also. I've been to Namdi's father's house in 2018, yes. So 2018, yes. 
while they were preparing for the 2019 governorship elections, I had to assess both Ikbeazu and Alex Oti. I, I, I stayed in Omaya. I drove to the side of the government house. And the next set of compounds was now this father's house. And I keep asking myself, where did this all go wrong? Where is the strategic imperative? Now we know what the problem is. How do we move forward in spite of Nam Dikam, not because of him? Mm -hmm. How do we move forward in spite of Mr. Buari, not because of him? Mm -hmm. How do we strip this behemoth bare? How do we lay it naked before the world to see that Nigeria is alive? So that we are sitting on a potent volcano waiting to erupt at a moment's project. Mm -hmm. And when it erupts, 300 million people. We take over Cameroon and Equatorial Guinea. Mm -hmm. Yoruba will take over uh, Bene Republic. And that is it. And the remaining will go to the US and the UK. And we see how they will handle the flood. Of, there is no problem in Nigeria yet. And yet our children are using legs to cross the desert. How will they handle us? How will they handle the fall of Africa's biggest economy? How will they? Why would they allow Nigeria move from the edge of, a precip of the precipice and just tumble over the edge and fall into an abyss? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Nigeria can restructure itself and work properly if they allow us to be the ones to say, we want join, we not want join. You must let me have my referee. You must let me decide my position in this nation that is not working. That is why the Midwest movement will totally sign on to Ninas. We are the ethnic nationalities of the Edo and Delta peoples, the 13 ethnic nationalities, whether it's Akoko, Edo, Ora, Esako, Owa, Esa, Bini, uh, Urobo, Isoko, Isekiri, uh, Urobo, Okbe, Western Ijo, Enoani, Kwale. We are all we are all signed in because we are the most marginalized people in Nigeria. It's not in the Igbo. I will tell you why. In, 19, in 1966, January 15th, before Kaduna Unzogu, who is a Midwesterner anyway, people mistake the poor man for Eastern. Fukuma Kaduna Unzogu is from Okanam. Between between Abo and Asaba. And so this is where you now have the airport. That's where it comes from. Are you getting my point? Yeah. Now, on that day, there were four regions in this country. The eastern region, the western region, the eastern region in Enugu, the western region in Ibadan, the midwest region in Benin, and the northern region in Kalaba, in Kaduna. Now, in 1963 constitution, there were 46 senators. 10, 10, 10 from each of the, of the, of the, of the uh, four federating units. Look, uh -huh. uh, regions. The remaining six were based on, they gave two or so to Lagos, because Lagos was the federal capital territory, just as you have a big canal, and the others were, one or two was for the Council of Chiefs and whatever. Now, those equal things, it also happens in the United States. You are in Texas, which is basically the third largest state in the United States in terms of population, population, demography, and size, and even economy. California, New York, but Rhode Island, North and South Dakota, all of them have two senators. Georgia has two senators. Texas has big and raised, bigger than Nigeria, has two senators. California, the fifth largest economy in the world, has two senators. Rhode Island, small island, has two senators. Hawaii, small Hawaii, has two senators. Mm -hmm. But today in Nigeria, all the equity and fairness, the military divided northern region into 19, divided eastern region into nine. <laughs> you think it's five? It's not five. It is nine. The five of Coindigo plus Bayelsa plus Rivers plus Aquaibon. And plus cross river we must remember that the deputy president of biafra was general philip Ethion, whose mother was from ikota Epene, and his father was from a in present-day state he handed over 
to he surrendered to, to, to Nigeria. He surrendered to the Nigerian forces. He, he was prepared to take the place of Ujuku. He was loyal enough to say, leader, go, I stand here. Because it was a state of mind. He wasn't thinking about his ethnic nationality. He wasn't thinking whether am I Igbo enough or am I to acquire Ibo. He was the vice president. He was the deputy president. That was what they call it. Now in Nigeria today, the whole north is now 19 states and they are saying there's equal senatorial representation. There are three senators per state. So the northern region that had 10 senators in 1966 and the midwest region that had 10, 10 senators in 1966. Today, we are two states. Two states with only six senators. And the north has 19 states with 50 <laughs> senators. <laughs> we are just 10% of what they used to be. Of what they are now. And yet, the total revenue of Nigeria, 87% of the total revenue of Nigeria is from the Niger Delta. And almost 7 to 38% of that is just only from Edouard Delta. The 11 million, 12 million people of Edouard Delta is helping feed the remaining 200 million. So they are building Nigeria, they are building their railway to northern Nigeria to, to Maradi on the saw reading backs of the creeks, of the people of Giligile, of the people of Baramatu, of the people of Okados, Escavos, of the people of Ilo Lobo, Ilo Lobo, of the people of, of Ugeli, of Ugeni, of Uwewu. They are right, they are doing that. They are doing it on the saw reading backs of the people of Ogoni, who are just less than a hundred thousand. And you call that one a nation? <laughs> we are doomed to fail. That we have not failed because before now is just because of that elemental Nigerian gragra. Like you go walk, no, no worry, never affect me. Okay, but you go walk, go peace, peace, peace. Okay, I won't carry my children in trouble. No, and that is it. But for how long will that last? The we have gone to the elasticity point. And the and I keep telling people I'm not angry at Buhari. I did a documentary that made, I say today. I was scared before, but I don't care again. I'm capo faceless. The guy that did a documentary on Buhari. The, the documentary with which they use is shutting down AIT in 2015. That told Nigerians the last line in that documentary is that they should look back. I told you about you about Remember what that man Ogunde told you guys in 1963 and 64 that led to the wide wide west that led to the fall of the first republic. And I said the rain will be the leopard. Well, it will change its spots. That Buhari will come. I asked the question, does Buhari have the, the mental whatever to be the president of Nigeria in the 21st century? <laughs> his first answer to that, the answer was brought by General Buhari himself. His first visit to Germany in the year 2015. He called Germany, Western Germany, a country that died in 1991. So Buhari was actually arrested, had arrested development. He was arrested in his own space. He has not mentally escaped 1985 when he left home. Mm. That is the man can't give away in that. That is the truth. Now, in that same vein, we are back here today. Nigeria will not move forward unless we all come together. Now, as the Midwest peoples, our we believe that if Igbos are fighting. Yorubas are fighting, it's clamoring. May they not carry us for nobody. Because when they started this, Nam the Kano drew his map and ended at Abudu, in the local government area of Edo State. Then the, in the Yoruba, they draw their own and ended somewhere inside my, I think they even cut my state into two, put one side for the other, put one side for the other. And I said, oh, you ain't going to do that. We are not going to be cannon folder or collateral damage in any conflagration that we know may happen. So we rose up and said, this time we will not be 1967. When they drove into the Midwest and was used, the Nigerian Civil War was fought in the East and only the Midwest. It was never fought in the North. 
it was never fought in the west mm -hmm. the only thing that got to the west was the vehicle that got there to order in the morning or it's just it, it's just 42 42 and 43 kilometers from the boundary of the state or 22 sorry from mofosu and drove back so go we don't know where or is the think or is one place inside yoruba land or is not is it yoruba or is more busy than yoruba and then they drove back when Victor Banjo was turned back. So the fight outside in the Igbo was in the Bendel, was our Midwest, our place here. And we don't want that to happen. And we are not saying it because we hate Igbos. I am almost Igbo. I'm actually mentally Igbo. I have four beautiful children. See them, see them, see my children. See them, see them. My four children. Every one of them has an Igbo name given birth to by the most beautiful Igbo woman ever born. Because if I, I tell my choice, if I marry, if I come back again to this life, it's make I make one which I don't marry my wife because I never see anybody who will marry me because I decrease. The girl has managed my Mahala, my crazy man. If I get angry, she will just be shaking my her bumble and it will just come down. <laughs> you know, when, when, when Ko catch me, I remember her. Yeah. You know, even a week, I remember her. Yeah. I cannot change, I cannot, I thank God for my mother in law. My mother in law is an angel. That is the truth. And my, my best friend outside of my immediate family is my one of my, my brother in laws, Uzoma. I, I tell him everything. I have stopped an Igbo dome. I'm among the first three people in Hollywood. I'm a patron of the Association of Movie Producers of Nigeria. I know every back of Indi Igbo, like the back of my palm. Whether you are from a boy, I even, Igbo don't even, it was me that I even told them that Abia is not an Igbo word. When Abia was created, it was created from an acronym of Abba Bende, Isikwato, and Afi Igbo. That's how you got Abia. So I know Igbo. My film, Igodo, is maybe the largest film of Igbo extraction. We were, we, we were using uh, Ghana must go to carry money just to sell. When you were selling almost three, for three million copies of Igodo. I know everywhere. I mean, I, I love Igbo land. I have start both of Opi Weka and, 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 and Pandu Daba. So I'm not against Indigo, but I'm saying that Indigo may be able to go further by extricating that mentality of me, 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 moi, moi, moi. Mm -hmm. uh, this, um, uh, Egom, Obim, Alam. This, no, 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 no. You have to just leave it. Now, Obim, Obim is okay. Oh, Papa, uh, no, it's not okay. That's why many of them are not married. Okay, for those that are married, don't be is okay. Okay, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so it is important. Then for the I don't know whether it's important for me to talk about Nam. The reason I'm saying is I think Buhari made a mistake by arresting Nam Dikana for one reason. The boy wants to be popular. But however, unless Nam Dekano is taken out of the picture, the Igbo self-actualization will never work. Mm -hmm. Because well, you cannot base... You, no, is it true? The noise is too much now. The noise is yeah, too much. Is, number one, he's angering a, and he's angering, an, angering a proper, legitimate struggle on propaganda and half-lies and half-truths. He is endangering people when he is not prepared. Preparation to separate is not premised on war, war, war. It is premised on capacity to war, war, while you jaw, jaw. If, for example, the largest economic drivers of the Nigerian nation, you own Nigeria. If we decide now and say, okay, we will not vote 2019, 2023, no election. Not one cockroach or one hopelessness will go behind and carry money 
and come to the center of town or come to Okigwe Junction and start this and start tearing the money and everybody start running after the money. The next day, everything you agreed in the in the morning is taken away and replaced by money. That will not work. Number two, it is important that the Indian will begin to see that Biafra is a franchise. Hello. That Biafra is not even an Igbo word. It's not yours. It's an Igbo word that was used to describe the rough waters of the mouth of the Braz and Boni currents. It's derived from the word is Biafra. It's an Igbo word, meaning you know if you pass here. And it was suggested to Oduku because of the fact that the British or the Portuguese, while they were lining the two bites, there are two bites in the Gulf of Guinea, the bite of Benin and the bite of Biafra. So the Oibo couldn't pronounce Biafra or Biafra or whatever and call it Biafra. So you are holding tenaciously to a word that is not even Indian. But is the name Biafra equal to the legitimate quest of the people of Indigo to have proper, proper life, proper recognition, proper determination, proper actualization of their humongous potential that would have taken them ahead of every part of Nigeria? A set of people who were landlocked in 1967, 68, 69 and created a Buligwe from zero to something and had the Nigerian army at bay without food for three years. Come on. There is something in Igbo DNA that needs to be triggered and reawakened. Amen. Just as you love the money, love the fact that you can actually be the printer of the money rather than the collector of the money. Without the Igbo franchise, the enterprise in Kanu, Kanu is zero. Go look at it. When you walk into Kanu, the share level of commerce, why do you think the North welcome back the whole in the Igbo after the Civil War? Because life is not based on Allah Akbar. It's not based on chanting the Quran and kneeling five times or for doing prayers. It's not based on that. Because if you go to Saudi Arabia, if you go to the United Arab Emirates, you will still see people like the Igbos, whether they are now Egyptians or behaving the same way, or you now see Igbos. So there is the need for the Indian Igbo to see that the 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 forward, the uh, I call it in, in Bendel Igbo, we say Organishu. No, Organiru, Abi? Organiru. Organiru. That Organiru do Igbo. I can't call it. Yeah. It's in your hand. It's in your hand. It is not in Nam the Kanu's hand. No. Don't you bring the entire struggle over the personal discomforts of one man. I lost faith when I heard that is still on I pub UK came on air and sorted the living daylight out of everybody. So then they were rogues and thieves. So then they were working for the MI6. So then he had a list of them who he will assassinate and execute. Hello, we never fight the fight. You don't they decide those where you go kill. Where is they your side? <laughs> no, I don't know whether you get my point. We do, sir. You know, we do. We do. We do. Man, so 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 when a crocodile eats his own egg. Eat his own egg. What will he not do to the flesh of a frog? Exactly. So you want me now, Pedro, to want to start discussing with who? Namde, that says he will kill his own people. And I no. In my place, in Bini, in Esaku, in Owa, in, 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 in Isoko, in no life of any of our people will be sacrificed because we want to satisfy some Fulani hegemon. Rather, there must be a proper education process to reorient Igbos, to make them see that their 
activation of their self-determination and the self-determination of everyone below the Niger River. Not even below, everyone below the caliphate boundaries is a sequano. It is a fate that must be done. Yes. And the earlier we do it, the better. The yes. later we do it is basically extending, stretching, and messing up the future of our children. Because we will not remember our heroes past. They are not heroes. All of them were villains. Mm -hmm. Because if they were heroes, they would have seen that we shouldn't have been here. The, 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 the first of our heroes past shall never be in vain. Now, because of their whatever of their heroes past, we are not, it's not in vain. What they have uh, is now they put all of us mm -hmm. in chains. Yeah. So I just want us to say that I'm not against him as a person. If the entire quest to liberate southern Nigeria, to liberate areas lower of the Niger, to liberate uh, Odudua, to liberate uh, Midwest, to liberate eastern Nigeria, west everywhere from this Maraging Fulani headsmen. Hmm. If it is premised on one person, God forbid, it is dead on arrival. Dead on arrival. Period. Yes, yes. So I think, like, like now in our Midwest movement, what we try to do is, when I talk to my people, when I leave, I try to clone them so that they all see that ah, this is where we are going on. So if I'm not there, because if you do me anything, so if no. if if, if you know, they're not there, then some some of you push up. But if not, have you not noticed that since the cat land the can we should come? It's over now. Case closed. Business finish. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got this mess. It's, it's, it's the difference between a public limited company where everybody have buys and buy shares and a, an individual sole enterprise. Yes. We told My them. friends told yes. Oh, okay, you told them. We told them several because we were there. We told them this guy is running his private business. It's not for you. It's not doing anything. We want to build a system. If you build a system, whether somebody yes. is there or not, the system will yes. continue to go to the next generation. Bam. But when Bam. you set up one man's business, if anything happened to the one man, oh, sorry, your thing don't go. That's the end. Get close. <laughs> and the group of people that call themselves the most intelligent group, you are there when you want someone to run your business for you. Who is the most intelligent group? No, you got people now that say that are wise. No, 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 no. Okay, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I want to ask you a long question. Are you people from Israel? I have. We have straight from heaven, okay? That's where okay, I am. Okay, let me tell you. you see, that, is, that is more propaganda, though. <laughs> You know, they look for you. Let's not go yeah. there because let's not no, go there. Hey, I will just touch it a little. Okay, you are not go. from any Israel. Wait, you are in this. Wait, let me tell you why it is, it is bad for you to say you are from Israel. Yes. If you are from Israel, yes. if you are from Israel it means you didn't own where you came from. You are migrant. It's possible Israel is from them. Who knows? Uh -huh. <laughs> no, you, you are in the, Let me tell you, eh, there is no archaeological finding. That is older than the findings in Henry. That's true. That's true. That's it true. is. It is aboriginal. That is how would that put it? You know, in the Igbo, they say they have seven or four. I'll be four. Yes. Yes. Four. Okay. Uh, four. Henry is one of them. Yes. I don't use your. Uh, 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 oh. All those. Things. You know. So it is important that you know that you are the bona fide owners of the land. You didn't come from anywhere. In Nigeria, those who actually came from somewhere, the Jews are Aboriginal. They are, those are Aboriginal, and they have a strain of language that is cannot be copied. It is only copied, but they didn't copy from anything. Same thing with with Koibo. Yes. Same thing with Ijo. The they are Aboriginal, totally Aboriginal. They didn't come from anywhere. We are we were created when God created Adam. Yes, so there's anything like that. Yeah. Because they there were there were blacks before they were whites. Yes, that is what the white man's archaeology tells us. That's true. That the first oldest mama of a man, Homo sapiens, was found in Kenya. We did not come from anywhere. 
we own where we are, we own where we breathe, so that we can also qualify for the United Nations uh, 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 declaration. Yes, 2007. For the indigenous people. So if you come from somewhere, you are indigenous, you are migrants. Yeah. The only one open migrant in Nigeria came from the Futajalon Highlands. Island. The Fulani. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't call them Fulani, I call them Pue. I Pue. Don't go to that. <laughs> yeah. Pue. Hello. You know, the people that speaking nomadic persons who have been joining from time in Moriva, from the Futajalon Highlands. So Nigeria is ruled by Gambians and Senegalese and and if I say Malians, the younger ones we think we are talking about Naira Mali are Malians. <laughs> that is the truth. And other people that are indigenous are the old, the old Kanem Bonum. Yes. Those who are in the area of Boko Haram. Mm -hmm. Yes. Those uh Kanem Kanuri. Kanem. Yes, can I repeat? Can I so I'm um, indigenous in my space. Indigo yes. owns Igbo land. They were born there, created there, and they migrated from small, small places within that space. Everybody who is in the Emily area, all migrate apart from a few that cross the water from from Asaba, from Asaba this way, and a few that also cross from 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 Igbo land to the other side, like Ibuzo. So it, we, are, we know ourselves, we know our heritage. Do people know that the, the largest trading market in the, like 500 years ago, was actually on the plains of Ika, in the place between Benin City and, and, and Abudu. It's called Ogan. That is why that place today, you mix, they speak a mixture of Benin and Igbo. Have you seen, have you heard that? Um, yeah. Madam, um, I think it's Ekwe. Ekwe. Yes. Yes. You are the one married to my brother. Yes. <laughs> okay. okay. Ask him. In his village, all the old men speak Bini, all the younger ones speak Ika. They speak it's true. It's of Ika. That's true. That's true. Where your husband is from is where one of the greatest nationalists of Benin came from. His name is Dr. Samuel Osaibo of Yes. 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 The banker is just seven kilometers away from from from, from, from Orogodo, from Abobi. Mm. Where the obi of Ambo sits. Yeah. It's like so this. Our life is like this. Yes, they yeah, use yes, they use yeah, it. Yes, they use it. Yeah, the village square. You know, yeah. and, that, and that Urodo River is, is over Juju. Wow. Yeah. No, people, is it, the whole of our area, Edo, Delta, we just they move from, so we'll be, we are cybernetic. We are like this. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And, it is because the Igbos allow the Warren chief exercise to balkanize them. That's true. When they came and they found out that Igbos are involved in Pakistan in interclan wars, mm -hmm. the British feared it. Of course. So the, today, uh, Umuleri and Aguleri, two brothers of the same father, they don't talk to each other. So if you are in Umuleri or Aguleri, and you go the other way. I went to record there once upon a time. I was doing a, a, a documentary for this guy B. And because I had gone across the road to interview somebody in Aguleri, the Muleri people seized my camera. That I must go back everything to see if anybody in, in Umuleri has spoken one word against anybody in Aguleri. Meanwhile, they are brothers. When I say brothers, I'm not saying that they are brothers in the speaking, but no. Their ancestral story is that they came from the same father. Who does that? Who does that? Yeah. Who does that? Now, in twenty nine, in nineteen ninety nine, Nigeria moved to independent, moved to civilian rule, and the same division of Indigo played out. Hmm. They, they zoned the presidency to Yoruba South. They zoned the vice president to the north. In spite of the fact that for four years, Obasanjo fought Article, the North refused to remove Article. They zoned the Speaker of the National Assembly to the, to, the, to the North Central. In spite of the fact that Umar Nahaba, Gali Umar Nahaba, fought Obasanjo throughout, they refused to remove him. The next session, they brought in, uh, they didn't even give him ticket. They brought in Masari, who is not the, I mean, Masari, who is not the governor of Kassina State. They, removed, they refused to remove him. In the Senate, 
the deputy senate president was zoned to north central and it was given to dr ibrahim mantu now let's look at the senate president the only major post given to indigo was the senate president Igbo has five core states. They started with, uh, what is the name? Advanced Ewerem, Imo State. As Advanced Ewerem was just a few months in, and Igbo man moved the motion, first started in Zerib, that Ewerem is advanced, the advanced is not advanced, it's advanced, and that advance was a criminal during the Civil War. Igbo, <laughs> Igbo, Igbo, what Igbo signed, and the Igbo caucus removed him and replaced him with Okadi Igbo. Okadi Mm -hmm. As they replaced him with with Okaribo Ok Anambra, they started. Bo, 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 bo. They all had a meeting with Obasanjo in the night. Because of that, take him. Come, he likes he likes Panderiam. They took him as he was eating Panderiam. They overthrew him and replaced him with I am Pius I am Ebony. They came to the next round. They started with Wabara. Hmm. As Wabara was there, they now say, oh, Wabara, brother, I was working in Austin's first bank, one bank, three bank. He's still, they say, it's still 200,000 naira. They, bo, 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 bo. they removed him and replaced him with Kenan Aman. So, in the eight years of ceding the Senate presidency to Indigo, Indigo shed it. He said, because I was telling one of my friends, he said, don't believe it. He doesn't line up to make money. You chop, I chop. All of them were yes, Dr. Ibrahim Mantu was deputy senate president to so five Igbo senate president, all from one one state, one one state, one one state. But until we see the Igbo agenda as a collective agenda, until the Igbo see themselves first as a nationality, mm -hmm. and not a language of completely clannish behaviors. Hmm. Where somebody is wondering why should I saw one of their videos where I pop where quarreling over where should this capital be? Hey, no, hey, no go. Say now the person I was listening, he said no good. They don't say shut up there. And hey, no, hey, no go. And they wow. <laughs> and I was shocked. Second time I the bar. The wow. I was I was blown away. They say, look, if you are going to put this capital. This capital must be in core evil. It must either be over or Aba. So if it is not over Aba, it is not be saying Uwa. I was just listening. I was in the I was in the Zoom meeting. So what I want to suggest is this: first, in the Igbo, you must continue. I'm talking to the daughters of truth now, because many of them believe you. My wife is your follower. And there are so many persons of Igbo extraction who believe that there must be a systemic takedown of the Nigerian state. And that systemic takedown can work if the Yorubas agree, the Igbos agree, and the elements of the 65 ethnic nationalities of the Niger Delta agree, Nigeria is dead. There must be that agreement first. And for that agreement to work, it will not work when I believe that you have a leadership that already maligns and criminalizes those who even oppose them or say things that are dissenting or that are, that are not in agreement with them. So if, if, if Namdekanu is in Biafra as a country, my wife, I will divorce her if she's because I said Biafra. <laughs> because, no, let me explain why. Because, yes. lit, you see, in literature, when you want to know the character, characteristics of a, of a, of a, of a, 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 a figure or a character, and we look at what he says, we call it contest questions. When, where, why, who said to who. When you are watching your CSI New York or you are watching your any of this, they call it profiling. You look at how does he behave under certain circumstances? What did he say? Who does he communicate with? What is his body language? What is his psychosomatic build-up? And everything about Namdekanu is negative. Yep. It's, like, it's like trying to run 
uh, a Potomac democracy from Western DC and dumping it into uh, the hands of an Aboru. It will be a multi exactly. democracy. That is just the truth of the matter. And maybe because many persons of Igbo extraction may be too scared so that they won't attack the Apepa in their house. If they attack me, we die there. It died there. <laughs> I'll be there. Died there. You know, we not, we not, I don't see trailer talk less of the driver when they say. <laughs> no. So there must be a strategic. That's why anytime, I'm not, um, uh, I won't say he's my friend, but I admire his modus operandi. So when he sends stuff, I sit, I read it. So and it, it is fecundative. Oh, Benedict Chukwudi, let me help you. I said, you said Nigeria is not there waiting for a burial. No. Nigeria is dead. He's waiting for an undertaker. <laughs> and I think, I think, I truly believe in one of my first interviews, I said Ninas is the properly positioned undertaker. Yes. Yes. You know, because the, the, the nail on the final, because it's a fair state. Failed. Somebody asked me in one interview why we say it's a fair. You know, say any state where non-state actors are dispensing authority of state is a fair state. Any state that has vigilante, vigilante is as a result of the failure of constabulary and policing efforts of state is a fair state. Any state where anybody can bear arms in spite and not because of government regulation is a fair state. So I can carry arms in Texas. Because there is a government regulation that allows me to carry certain ammunition of certain arms, but I know I cannot carry a 44 Magnum. I may not be able to carry a, a, a submachine assault rifle, but I can carry this, I can carry that, I can carry pump action, I can carry. So it is regulated in Nigeria. They don't even know how the guns come. So we now have Eastern Security Network, Midwest Security Network, uh, those vigilantes network, uh, Delta Vigilante Network. Uh, we are having a Motecon. This is because Nigeria has failed in its the most important thing written in that 40 constitution is that the major role of government is to protect lives and property. So if lives and property are being decimated and wasted daily on our highways and the governors are gone and dead, where the chief security officer of the state cannot give a single command to one policeman, not even the policeman guiding his entourage. And you say that is not the first state? <laughs> a state where... No, 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 no. No, no I mean, man, I don't want to talk. A state... <laughs> Nigeria is the first state. A state where the government openly negotiates with internationally declared terrorists. Mm -hmm. The United Nations has declared book around terrorists. Nigeria government will negotiate with them. They still have not to today declare Boko Haram terrorists. So if you are not against them, it means you are with them. That is the truth. So there is the need for the end. I'm saying because I think um, people may be reacting badly to the fact that Nandi was captured. But I think it gives Indigo the space to sit back and strategize. I don't want to say there's no re-strategizing and strategize properly on the way forward that will yes. carry the entire okay. Somebody else know that the Igbo should call themselves, yeah, they are Igbo nation. Of course, yes, 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 yes. Let me tell you, okay. Let me ask you a question. I was talking to one of you the other day, and I said that uh, uh, Bendel means Bini Delta. Mm -hmm. But when mm -hmm. we were going to get independent, uh, uh, get a creation of the state. We told the federal government that we are not Bini, we are Edo. Because in our language, we don't have Oba of Bini. In our language, we don't have Bini City. Mm -hmm. So if you call Bini man and say, Where are you going? If you say Iri Edo, I'm yes. going to Edo. That's if true. you say, Who is your Oba? Oh, we're Omonoba Nedo. Mm -hmm. which, which tribe will be? Oviedo, yes. not Ovie Bini. Mm -mm. So now let's come to Ibo. Cha 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 cha, we move beyond Have you heard that? Yes. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> I was listening to Ibo. I was listening to Ibo. I was listening to Ibo. Thank you. Yes. 
Everything is fine. You know, even the land, Ali, 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 so Ali, Ali, so it is clear that the that the Biafra is a state of mind. Mm. Is a clarion call that should unite and not polarize the Igbo nation, but yes. it is not a replacement for the Igbo nation. Yes. And even if the entire South is to pollinate and gravitate towards a union, they must see the Igbo nation as a nation, not as a Biafra. That is true. That because Biafra, you know, the, uh, the Biafra franchise of IPOB, that is the variant, the IPOB variant of, of uh, uh, what do you call it? The IPOB variant of Nandikan. Yeah, yeah. Of mm -hmm. You know, doesn't seem Gans. to understand the history of the fall. I'm not saying of the rise, of the fall of Biafra. Yep. I was in Pothakot about two weeks ago in the Zona South South Zona Conference. And the biggest fight we had was for someone to mistakenly call Ikwere Ibo. Hmm. It was a war. In short, Auntie Ankyo had to manage it so brilliantly with Ankyo Bridge. But you see, I got upstairs in my room and I sat down thinking. And I remembered my father. May he so rest in peace. My dad was a friend of, 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 of Captain L.A. Chiamade. And I remember what he told me then, which is what is happening now. In 1970, there was no Umu Okoro. There was no Rumu, Rumu, Rumu Okuta, Rumu Abasi. There were no Rumu, Rumu anywhere. It was Umu Okoro, Umu Abasi, Umu Okuta, as you say, Umu Ibo. Um, are you getting my point? Yes, um, yes. But because of a perceived schism between core Igbo during the war, the Igbos of, of Igwacha, which is the original name of Potako, it was changed in 1914 after the amalgamation by Mr. Lugard, so as to turn, so as to thank Viscount. Harcourt, who later became Lord Harcourt, for allowing him to amalgamate Nigeria. It is him that he wrote that letter to. Now, Umwacha, Igwacha, what is our chat now? <laughs> <laughs> I know, if I remember, I used to have a friend called whose father's name was Watra. Watra. What is Ocha? Yeah, Ocha is Oibu. Ocha is white. 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 Okay, white. Queen. So the white. Eh? Yeah. White. So that place was the place they used to go and pack slaves so that people like um, Jaja Okopobo would come and showcase it and the Oibu would buy and carry abroad. That was what, Potakot is not anybody's town. It was just the settlement. And the queries were all around it in Choba and all those places. Mm -hmm. But in that 19, go and read on the account. They were maligned, and so immediately to make sure that the that anger is fired up, uh, go and just created River State and put Ikore people into it and made Potakot capital. Ah. And so the man who has been fighting to extricate himself from the oppressiveness, supposed oppressiveness of a homogeneous Igbo. In spite of the fact that he, the language he speaks is basically Igbo. All his names are Igbo. Ago, Iesom, Wike, uh, Chibike, Amechi. Those are their last governors. Mm -hmm. uh, Chibike, what does it mean? Mm -hmm. I've even said that. I've even said it that. Or, uh, 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 mm -hmm. What is Yesom? Yesom, Wike. I think it's Yesom. Wike. Something like that. Yes. yes, it is actually a. If you go to people who are in that Aba Aba Ungwa area, 
It is a it is a dialect. Wiki. Amechi is the former governor. So for us who are not in that space, we think they are Igbo, but they say they are not. But it is not Igbo that is the problem. It is Biafra that is their problem. Because they sat down and did things to make sure Biafra did not work. And they were led by a man whose full name is Elechi Amadi. Mm -hmm. Yes, that is Captain Elechi Amadi. You know, and all his books, he expounds it and clarifies it. So there must be a need for Indigo to have a handshake across the Niger towards this side, across the creeks, across the Imo River, across the Cross River. Because I'm going to Arochuku in Abia State. I'm in Umwaya in Abia State. It is only 40, 50 kilometers to Arochuku in Abia State. But I cannot go because the roads are bad. So I will come down to Ikota Abasi, about 60 kilometers. I will now go up another 25, 30 kilometers to Ikota Ekpene, and I will now cross into Arochuku, which is exactly like two kilometers apart. Hmm. But yes, the difference between Arochuku and Ikota Ekpene is Ikota Ekpene and Arochuku, which is actually where you have the long juju of Indibu. It's just, you can sit on the top there and you will just be seeing across the small water there, you will just be seeing uh, but you must build bridges of trust and not continue to fan the age-long seeds of distrust. Hello. But there must be a cementing of Indibu first, where the man from Mexico will not disparage the man from, 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 from uh, Bende or disparage a man from from uh, uh, Ikeduro, uh, there must be a semblance of unity, of sameness of all of us. We all get here. There must be a claiming of that enterprise. So whether I'm in Uturu or I'm in uh, Ukwa East or Ukwa West, I know I am Abia. Then I am Igbo. Then I can be any of the nationality or any of the nations we choose to be in. The Igbos are too strong not to even be alone. That is true. They are too wealthy, too knowledgeable, too endowed, too enterprising. They have a whiff of money. They can smell the money. Is the truth? And then they know book. They know book. That is, those who want no book will just know book. Those who don't know will not just know. The only problem now is all those who in no book carry their book, put out for Portman to. Handle them to them, Nam the can. That is no problem. Right? Sad. Now, if I hear that the person speaking for you is speaking for you, and you say, oh, okay, the person is speaking, look at the uh, Bible. There is Igbo, but there is also Prof. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they know, ah, when Prof open mouth, you know, they know, it's, I mean, it's revered all over the world. Then in your own, an elemental brigand. Meanwhile, this is a nation that has produced the first certified uh, uh, professor of, 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 of mathematics that has brought in Chike Obi, the, a, a, a tribe that brought my father, Chino Achebe, a tribe that has brought in this, what is his name, uh, Philip Emegua, that have the computer we are using all over the world today, solving, solving quantum. A land that has brought no, 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 I'm not supposed to do like this now. I brought a meta. I don't want to put a new one. 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 It's not good. Let's think about it again. Let's retweet it. You know, when, let me tell you, when Tony Nard is talking, you know, we will listen. Even if I don't agree with him. But I'm ready to argue with him. Yes. I'm prepared. Yes. I said, okay, let's, let's you know, tit for tat. He said, he said, I said, no, you don't say this. Said, but how can I argue with Nari Khan that walks into the studio at Ben TV, threatening brimstone and fire until the young woman has to separate us and say, okay, okay. <laughs> uh, I said, okay, if you, you know, I am not going on sale with this guy. He said, oh, fuck you. He said, I'm a thing. This I can't say. If my daughter hears me, Open my mouth and say it on public TV. 
or my brother or my father. Eh? I'm an upper circuit. I will not go on television and I will be saying those things he says. You know, using the effort, he used the effort like 50 times in one video. Yes, he called it there. He was talking about I pop UK mother effort. I will F you guys. You guys got thieves, rogues, arm robbers. He was just talking, Doctor. Basically, that's what you can do when you decide who lives and who dies. Now, I mean, you begin to uh, so it's like in, in, in that group, there is Emperor a soldier, there's a Emperor soldier, man. an elderly man that in eh? London, a UK trained surgeon, is in that group. He's calling all those names. <laughs> Are you serious? I'm yeah. telling you, yeah. you get trained surgeon. No, you, you know, you call him, you people gave him name. No, in the people are like a big name. Even if it's for nothing, the governor <laughs> not do anywhere. No, I mean, man, governor not do anywhere. He will call himself Omale Tilaura. Imagine the moon that shines shines on the earth or on the people. He's for criminals. He's for criminals. Yeah, and meanwhile, supreme leader. Who oh, where is that? Who oh, does that? Madness, madness, madness. In this twenty-first century, you enter room. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's put our hands together for the supreme leader. <laughs> am I am I watching what is that? There? There's one funny movie like that that goes on where the guy that is like uh, uh, even even uh, Gaddafi, Muhammad Gaddafi did not call himself supreme leader. No, mm. supreme so leader. Supreme. The only supreme place we have supreme leader in the world today is not Korea. No, not Korea. Korea. Yes, Iran. Iran no, is even better because the Ayatollah cannot just. There is a president. Yes. There, yes. It is Ayatollah. in North Korea that you have yes. supreme leader. King Jong. Blessed, blessed Kim, yeah, Kim Jong. Blessed supreme leader. Yeah. Blessed supreme leader of the Igbo Biafra Rogue <laughs> Enterprise. His Excellency, no, he, he, he will kill him because he wrote his royal majesty. That's why we nah, are here. Nah, 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 nah. That's why we, the daughters of truth, are here. We are here to insist. That Ndibo, especially those ones with big names, professor, PhD holders, whatever they call themselves, opinion holders, senior advocate, we're here to tell yeah, you. You don't get to do what you used to do anymore. No, madam, no. So you are, you know, nobody's checking scared. you. Mm -hmm. you, know, you know why they are scared? I know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's just fear. You know, fear. Um, let me, uh, when I was growing up, there was this, a, 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 a novel I used to read, a, no, a novelist. His name is James Hadley Chase. Mm. James mm -hmm. wrote a lot of novels. No, we didn't have television like we have now, yeah. multi channel TV. So, mm -hmm. but he had my friend, you, say, you can't have Supreme Leader of Bende. We are all Supreme. <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> you know, they have what they call, they have what they call, he had a, 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 a novel. Titled Want to Stay Alive. He had a character called Poktoholo. Poktoholo's quote, he still remains in my head since secondary school. He said, Fear is the key that unlocks the wallet of the rich. Hmm. So if my guy wants to make sure, say, when I put money for a bank account for London, ah, fear. Fear. So I think the major thing that we should now pursue must be a systemic dismembering and dissipation of that fear by pushing the call for a referendum within the Nigerian space. So once we start that, we already are screaming, we were, we were forced into Nigeria. And then in the, in the creation of state, we decided to create a state for ourselves. There must, if we are clamoring for that now, we know where the answers will go. Mm -hmm. In most of our minds, a Nigeria would have worked, but Nigeria died along with its old aunt. Mm -hmm. Because that old Nigeria remembered that we were different, but our difference could be harnessed to make us greater. That is why that anthem say, Nigeria, we hail our own dear native land. Though tribes and tongues may differ, so it recognized our disparaged and different ethnic nationalities. 
but in brotherhood we stand. This one says we are compatriots. A compatriot is not a patriot. Mm -mm. Compatriot, now who I know, I don't know, that guy is my compatriot. No, we did go primary school together. Now, nah, rise, oh, compatriot, senseless. Nigeria call be bad syntax to serve our fatherland. All fatherlands die. Go and ask Jeremy. Yes, sir. The woman, the land is a woman. It's motherland. We don't do father tongue. <laughs> it, it's mother tongue. Mother tongue. That is why in English, the land is her. Mm. Or she. Not a he. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or a she. The only he land was the German fatherland. The right, the, 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 the Third Reich. Oh, the Reich. Okay. Hitler, yeah, Hitler. Hitler, yeah. Yes. Yeah. So they say we'll be fatherland. Yeah, that's what they are not the heroes of the past are all villains. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> never be in vain. It's not in vain because now it's all running in our veins. <laughs> <laughs> A nation that is not premised on justice, whether social, cultural, linguistic, historical justice. A nation that with its own hand stopped history. Many of you might have been naturalized Americans, and you know you have to pass the history of America. You have to know about the Civil War. You have to know about the revolution. You have to know about what happened at Pennsylvania. You want to know, oh, even me who is not American, I'm for I'm giving a job to teach at the university. I'm told to first of all know this. Yes. Uh, nine years. So I walk and say, oh, okay. This was, oh, this is, no, okay, this is what he did. This is, oh, this was how the Confederates fought. Okay, this was where their capital was. This was where, their, okay, the Yankees were actually in New York. I, just, I know. But Nigeria stopped teaching history because they didn't want us to remember that once upon a time, this was what our fathers wanted. That is quite different from what these people have foisted on us. Hmm. I want to beg everybody who listens here that the time to play ostrich is gone. It's gone. Long gone. Nigeria is a failed state. Yeah. It's been failing before our eyes. And the only way now is for us to forget our igboness, forget our beninness, forget our yorubaness, and build a greater space for our children so that they won't come and ask us tomorrow, Daddy, how did you people get us here? Hmm. A nation where my daughter scores 300 and 50 over 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 400 and doesn't get into a university and a child from another part of the same country scores two it may sound funny to those who may listen two doesn't have a percentage in 400 it is 0 0.25 that is the percentage and gets in that person now reads law and becomes a sharia lawyer and now becomes the chief judge of the country <laughs> or becomes the attorney general of the federal republic or becomes a medical doctor <laughs> and begin to dispense whatever in this country because it got there by yeah. mm -hmm. nigeria you know when they watch film when if you don't they go climbers climb don't go as the actor the made the last actor now be so the last actor maybe buari last actor john wayne you just see the end every film get the end nigeria our film don't reach it don't end thank you girl yeah, uh, um, uh, Dr. Basteke, you just talked about uh, a, a student that scored two. Do you know that recently yeah. there was yeah. an NDLEA um, recruiting screening? That <laughs> <was> <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> 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 
recruiting yeah. screening that they did, like recent recent yeah. screening they did for yeah. NBA. Yeah. Then the Southerners were supposed to score three hundred over four hundred, yeah. while the Northerners are supposed to score sixty. At the end of yeah. the day, eighty percent of the recruits were Northerners because they scored uh, sixty. Why the Southerners that scored two forty-five or two ninety something did not get in to get the job in in NDLEA, and you start wondering in what planet Earth does this happen? Get me no, we already know where it happens. It happens in Nigeria. Yes, I wonder. <laughs> <It's a> wonder. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you've been working all out. We were right? able to recruit twenty percent of the southerners that were making mm -hmm. three hundred and something, three hundred and something, and you had eighty percent of the northerners that only made sixty. And you know, now one capitalizes now, on the quota system and all that. Now one person they die. It's depressing. <laughs> we have to tell them now. You know, is it everything that is systemically wrong? with a nation is wrong with us you know some nations have symptoms some ha have one ailment say no 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 no. south sudan they have an ailment this is the ailment in south sudan or oh, east timor they have one ailment okay singapore they were like this okay russia uh united uh, uss arrow they had a problem the problem okay in yugoslavia the seven of them they had a problem. What was the problem? No, the Bosnia Herzegovina, the Bosnia Herzegovina doesn't trust the Serb, and the Serb, the, 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 okay, in Czechoslovakia, Czechoslovakia, no, we are tired. We don't want to be one country again. All these symptoms and ailments that are itemized as enough to break up countries in other nations, in other um, spaces around the world, all of them, they Nigeria. That is. The things that led, all the things that led to the breakup of the Soviet Union are in Nigeria. Forceful takeover of territories that Ab initio did not belong to the Russian Federation and forced by Ilish, Vladimir Ilish Lenin and, Stan, and Joseph Stalin to make the Soyuz Soviet Stick Socialist Republic, which you call the CCCP, USSR, Union of Soviet Socialist Republics, in spite of them. After the October Revolution of 19, of, of 1917, they forced them in. Bam. Yugoslavia, all the bar, bar, the Balkans. You hear when you hear bar, Balkans, small, small states. That's where we got the word Balkanized. When you, you know, they are divided into small, small. That's the, the Balkans, the Balkanized states, the Slavic areas. They have different, different, small, small. They all say, okay, brosti to say, let's come together, and we, they, they were annexed together after the fall of the Austro-Hungarian Empire as one. The problems they had that led to their falling, we have it. Now let's look at South Sudan. There was the Jengeri fighting between Sudan and whatever. The South Sudanese people, they own half the oil. The whatever, whatever, the Arab knot or the Fulani lookalike knot were fighting the Southern Negro South who were predominantly Christians and they were predominantly Muslims. It is here. Eritrea, Abyssinia had been forced together to be called Ethiopia. They were different nations. They did not agree, but the Italians at the time when they were the forced them together, along with parts of Djibouti. Um, the problem is here. So all the problems that have led to the fall of these forcefully coupled together nations prior to now, all the symptoms and the ailments and the cancerous ones that finally led to their dismemberment are all here. All the ethnic nations, ab initio, that did not have servience to other people. Igbos did not have to bend down for Calabari. Calabari did not have to bend down. We were nations having one handshake or the other, trading with one another, exchanging mm -hmm. copper another knew the existence of one another respected one another except there were times when there were wars between one another all these people you force them here and you say nigeria is non-negotiable if nigeria holds the 2023 elections <laughs> i don't know i don't want 
I, I, I don't, I'm too old to go on exile now, past 50. We can't, <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I, I weep for this, I weep for this country. But I don't weep for my nation, because my nation is in my mind. You know, so that I just weep, weep for this country. You see, I also think that the time has also come for those who seem to be benefiting. They are not actually benefiting. They are just actually piloting a master-slave relationship. They, you know, uh, Franz Fanon, he says, you can't sit on the wall. See, when you sit on the wall, life will pass you by on both sides. Mm -hmm. You have to take a stand. Like the Nina stuff over the the constitutional force majority of December 2020. It must, it, it is not only be, it must not only be a truism, it must be treated as same. Once it is treated as same, then it is easier and easy for the Nigerian government to begin to see that its time is up yeah. and that the referendum across all regions of the, com of the country it's an idea that his time has come. And in that one, we all cannot decide. I want to be here. I don't want to be here. I want to be here. I don't want to be here. The right to self-determination is, no, is what is not negotiable. Mm -hmm. Not the keeping of a falsely cobbled together federation whose tenets and tendencies and, and pillars are unknown to any other federal arrangement on planet Earth. We are not even a system that is known to anything. We are nothing. Are we a federating state? Who are the federating units of the state? If they are federating, do they keep their resources like other federating units do? Do they have things that, do they have their own constitution? They have their own laws. There is a Supreme Court for there used to be a Supreme Court for us. There used to be a Bender, a Midwest Constitution, a Eastern, Eastern Nigeria Constitution. In Canada, there are things that Quebec must do that the, that the federal government of Canada can't stop. The federal government is leaner, it handles defense, currency. That, that is how it is. It may not be exactly the same, but every federation along all, all over the world has, but ha ours is a federal name with a feudal monarchical system. I use the word monarchical because Buhari said that day while he was referring to Tinubu sitting in Lagos and uh, thinking he would be deciding who is the APC candidate, that it will be dynastic handover. It's, they said it twice in that statement. Mm -hmm. Dynastic. I thought he was going to mistakenly say dynamic. I thought it was a... They, but when you use one word twice, it's an assertion. A dynastic handover is simple. He's going to hand over to another person of his son to his father or his father to his son or somebody in his clan or somebody within his family or somebody that is predetermined within their dynastic environment. No, no dynasty. Yeah. Yeah, it's a dynasty. These are key for us to understand that the future of Nigeria is in our hands and the future does not need to be Nigeria. Mm -mm. Co countries around the world have openly changed their names. Yes. All the time. Nigerians don't know what Nigeria means. Mm -hmm. I don't tire. Oh, thank, you so <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you so much. You have touched everywhere. Please, can you also help us talk to uh, two groups? Oh, he's gonna. He's gonna come back in. That's fine. Continue. Okay. Yes, um, our people. You see, when you hear truth from two or three, four people, you will know that this what you're saying is truth. People are bearing witness to the truth. Truth is no more hidden under the table. We've touched a lot of angles. Please share this video. Send it anywhere. Watch it again. Because it's like a, a lecture. It's fully loaded. You know when a professor talks to you, 
<laughs> so he's really a professor indeed. Yep. He touched everything. Sit down and go through it. Take notes. Mm -hmm. Because we the people, we the people, the land belongs to we the people. Yep. And so we are here to take it. Right. And we take it the right way. We are not going to make mistakes. We cannot leave zoo, like some people will call it, and, and enter museum. museum. <laughs> we can't enter frying pan, leave frying pan, and enter fire. <laughs> so for those of you that are getting it wrong, thinking that it's about your dynasty, your emperor, your whatever it is, we are not making that mistake. They even captured your emperor, you did not know. Eight days, no, no. <laughs> but the people that captured him say we have him. Is that the type of system you want to set up? Is that the type of shenanigan you want to put our children in? We are mothers. That's why we're not joking with this whole thing. Some of you might find it easy to just do anything anyhow. But we are here to fight for the destiny of our children. Hmm. The children that we carry for nine months, enter labor room, hmm. led for them, went through pain. We starved for them. We did everything for them. So we are not even playing. That's why you see us here. Every Saturday, we are not playing. We told you we will go to the moon, go to the sun to get this freedom. And when we bring it, it will be freedom indeed. Yes. Not free with gay leg. Not the one that will finish and the one will say, ah, they will arrest you because you're a woman. How dare you talk when Supremo is talking? <laughs> we can't even talk now. What will happen when you take us to your phantom Biafra? Phantom Biafra, I know. You see how you, you see you're, you're disqualifying yourself even before the game starts. And that is why we are insisting as mothers. You're listening to us. You're hearing us. Watch other videos that we have. We are following the system. Ninas has the system in place. And like you heard him say, we are talking of referendums, regional referendums. We are every clan, every nation, every nationality we decide where to be. Yes. Somebody was asking question, what of the Igbos in social place? The Igbos in social place. If the Igbos in social place know that they are Igbos, they know what to vote. Exactly. And they will vote it collectively and mm -hmm. be where they want to be. But we want to give our people the opportunity to say what they want and do what they want. Because that is what is done elsewhere. In mm -hmm. the land where we live, people do what they want and they stand for, by it. We want to bring it to our people. So we are not planning for our people to disperse to America and UK. We want to bring America to our people, mm -hmm. right where they are. Mm -hmm. So things will be done the proper way, systematically. As we talk, charters of relationships are being prepared. Because like we told you, in the territory, the Lower Niger territory, we have heterogeneous nations, peoples. So they need to agree. And the agreement is not over radio. It's written and signed. Exactly. So they are working and finishing it up. Yep. We have people in middle belt working there almost ready. Yorubas, they are going to their own, which is constitution, because they are homogeneous. And then referendums and their constitutions are saying how they want to live. And then there's one aspect, the transitional government. We told you people, because sometimes people say, when you bring the constitution, who will lead the people? Who will do this? We belong to our blocks. And in those blocks, we have governors. There's no vacuum of leadership. Mm -hmm. We have governors, we have local government, chairman, we have all those systems in place already. Which is why we're saying, why we're asking, why are these political class, these politicians, the governors, do you not understand what the constitutional force major has done? That you, are, you have the right to now move your people to the type of life they ought to live. Stop begging Buhari, a jihadist, to give you presidency of a moribund country. How do you Nigeria is dead. You are clamoring to be president of a dead, of a dead country. country. Is your brain correct? Stop disgracing us. Some of it is good abroad. You, you can do better. Hmm. How do you keep begging Fulanese, illiterate Fulanese? to give you presidency. When you can move your own block collectively into the transition we are talking about, you can start today. That's what we're saying.
and you can become a president in that your block if why you not switch, you know why not if that is of, a, of viable nations we're talking about viable, viable nations, nations. With resources, both human resources, whether the, all the resources can think of, what would it be more attractive for you as a politician to be part Hello. of a, 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 such a movement rather than wanting to connect with Fulanese, like jihadists? All they think about is they think about cows. Please, the world is watching us and they expect a lot from us, especially the Indi the great Igbo nation, the world knows you. Once you say Igbo, they know. Let's stop disgracing ourselves. It's mm -hmm. time to stand up and do things the right way. Thank you. Wow. Our guest was off the hook. Like, we couldn't stop him. We had all these questions that we can ask him. <laughs> he was just nailing everything. Just we didn't going. want to dive in. And I know a lot of our viewers would like to ask him questions. He's trying to log back in. You know, the uh, the connectivity in that contraption doesn't always, uh, you know, I mean, it always disappoints, should I say. Yeah. So uh, if he's able to come in, we may be able to take a few questions or whatever. If not, I think he has given us enough for us to go back and look a lot of history. So, and these are the things that we are talking about. Where are the men, uh, the caliber of Dr. Pedro? Where are you guys at? know. Maybe some random person is shouting somewhere and causing all these distractions. This is what we want for our children to learn, something like this, for people to actually understand who they are. You know, we've been deceived all along. Things has been changed upside down in, 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 in our own eyes. We didn't even know where to start. You know, yeah, well, I was a normal to us. Faking it is uh, part of our DNA now. We don't know how to be real. And we are saying this is a time for healing. You know, even uh, our introduction today said that if we call, if we listen to our God and our call on his name, that our sins will be forgiven and our land will be healed. That that healing should start with every one of us, for you to start healing yourself, making that change that you want to see in somebody else, that good change. We're working together to get where we want because we don't want, my sister will always say it this way, if you want one man to bring you freedom, <laughs> my dear, Get ready to go on that. Uh, I can even put that. Get working on a jammer. Uh, that nazi guy. Oh, um, the Hitler guy. The Hitler guy. Oh, Hitler would be a joke. <laughs> Hitler <laughs> would be a joke, man. So, and we're telling you guys that we want a freedom that all of us work together for. You know, did the referendum, did everything together, and get to our destination. So that he work when you go right. It's like a school that you, if you go to school and you study, you pass. If you go through happy and way, you'll be answering big name, but you'll be dodging and dodging and dodging because you're not sure how you manage to get the degree. So let's do this in the right way so that we can all be proud of where we get our information from, how we got our freedom. And most of all, we're leaving an inheritance for our children. What inheritance are we leaving for our children when we have not done all that we could to make sure that they don't live in a country that belongs to the Futa, Futa Jalan, okay? and then one, one has Fufu them, they were where mm -hmm. from forest. They're speaking fufu them. Oh, they're speaking fufu them. So I like I it. Fufu, fufu, day. <laughs> fufu day. And Doctor so, John is trying to uh, reconnect. He said that his internet provider actually locked him out. Whoa. Yes. yes. So he said, should he still try? That he's been trying is not going through. I said, okay, try call him. Time. Do you want us to call him on a landline? Is okay. we can hook him up on a landline? Okay, let me see. At least he can we have it. people that want to call in. Let's see if we have people. Yeah, there. we don't want to leave our viewers high and dry. They won't. I know, more. right? <laughs> so uh, I'm going to post the link. If anybody wants to join in, that's fine. Our phone number remains the same. So actually, let me go ahead and put in the link. We can call him on the landline to take uh, um, a regular line on WhatsApp to take uh, some of these phone calls. I mean, to take some few questions you know maybe we'll take one or two so if you're ready to either come in uh, uh on the stream yard or you want to call our number is plus one seven seven four three three eight zero nine four two plus one seven seven four three three eight zero nine four two you can call it as a whatsapp or you can call it as a phone number uh, plus one seven seven four three three eight zero nine four two is the same phone number that we've been posting all along. 
I will put it on the chat box as well, just to make it easier for our viewers. Um, So I just posted the link. If you want to use that link to join, that's fine. Um, so guys, are you able to, to pin it? Oh, he's back in. Uh, he's in. He's trying to get his video up. So the stream yard information is there. So guys, I also pin the phone number uh, for those that want to. So I think we'll just take two or three questions and call in a day. You know, our brother has given us almost two and a half hour of his time so he can, you know, get other things done. Ah, thank God. There you are. <laughs> thank God. <laughs> thank God. <laughs> Welcome back, Dr. Uh, uh, Obeseki. Welcome back. So we're trying to allow our viewers to, they have, they're like, oh, wait, Dr. Obeseki, bring him back. Bring him back. I said, please, hold on. Don't kill us. We are trying to bring him back. So you're back now. This is a good time for you to either join in or call in. Uh, our phone number and the link has been posted. Uh, if you don't want to be seen, you may want to call. If you want to be seen, you can jump in with the link and ask our brother um, questions before he goes. So, uh, but go ahead, brother. Give us my information because this is the, the best food we've had so far this <laughs> month. You know, so you <laughs> can continue, my brother. Continue. So, I, before the thing was, I wonder what he asked me. I think my service provider was started reading dead. There is no network. Maybe they don't they tell me they, they, they but, uh, <laughs> okay. but uh, thank God for technology, you know, wow. so um, so I had to quickly uh, reactivate one of the VPNs to to see if I could jump back in, you know. Well, um, I just, my final appeal is that there is a need for us to pull strings and, and, you know, it's like we're in a tug of war. You know, um, in the last um, uh, speech I made at uh, our Zona conference in in Port about two weeks ago, I just used a simple thing that rings in any door of anybody who is into strategic studies, and it says, "Vice pasem para bellum," in the Latin for for all those who want peace prepare for war, you know, because war preparation is a deterrent to the annihilation of your people. You know, if not, we will be speaking, speaking, why they are, we are jo joining, why they are war war, you know, but at the same time, we should not uh, put our people at risk, particularly when we know that some can jump on the plane and get off why the remaining wretched of the earth, you know, as it were, will be suffering the fallout of, of such a brigandage. It is also true that uh, I want to make, put this on notice that the Nigerian nation is not a nation in isolation. We are in a committee of nations. And the more I look at it, those who are instrumental, who might be instrumental to freeing our people uh, the Western Hemisphere and our sons and daughters, like the three of you here, and those others, whether they are in Canada, in the United States, in the United Kingdom, across continental Europe, we are in positions of strength because we contribute to those economies. And those persons that contribute to those economies are not those who are carrying or propagating the ice swap, ice swap, uh, uh, Boko Haram. It's uh, uh, ISIS propaganda. There are those of us who are people like us here. There are those of us who have been value added to the economy of the United States of America, wherever we are. We are those that can call on our congressmen and call on our parliamentarians in the House of Commons and know that in Nigeria is a nation that has contributed this quota and those who contributed the quota to the global peace global harmony global knowledge global research whether they are in the fields of the humanities law whether they are in science and technology whether they are the megalies of this world whether they are the testimonials of this world whether they are the um 
uh, Imafidons, the Biniman, who have built the, the drones of this world, whether they are the, the bright red who have helped Boeing build their rockets, they are Nigerians of Southern extraction and a decimation of that portion of the, of the nation who were recognized as far back as 1913 by no less a debilitating devilish person than Mr. Frederick Lugard as having contributed as a then 1.1 million pounds to the United Kingdom's purse, and as a result, merged us together for economic reasons. Not economics for us, but economics for them and their students whom they handed over the nation to. They should know that it is beholden on them to help save our collective patrimony that Nigeria can no longer continue because they are not like Nigeria. They are where they are because they did not practice Nigeria, because they are not doing the way things are done in Nigeria. They don't keep Nigeria time. They don't big traffic lights. They don't decimate people. They don't allow a child in Tennessee who had passed exams to a university to be denied because the boy is Indian, American Indian, or be denied because the boy is black, white, chocolate, or Hispanic, Chica, whatever. They must know that a nation that they help build is a nation that allowed children of Indian extraction, whose mother was Indian to be their vice president today, whose father was Jamaican to be their vice president today, a nation that allowed a boy whose father was never even American to become the president of the United States of America. So they cannot allow Nigeria to operate via reverse osmosis. They must make it clear that the truth about Mr. Buhari is a truth that stares Nigeria in the face. A truth that seems to want to take down a people who wants to stand on the side of truth, justice, equity, and fair play as against those who have become new era jihadists and mujahideens who are cubicle talibans hmm. meant to decimate the collective patrimony of all southern peoples of, the, of Nigeria. That if the British had realized that they would have even made a lot more by letting all of us remain the way we were. Mm -hmm. Britain would have had more nations in their collective commonwealth of nations today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If they could make the mistake in India, where they coupled together that, that gigantic failure in 1947 and allowed India to split up into Pakistan, India, and Bangladesh, and today, those people are relatively more at peace. India has become the biggest democracy on planet Earth. They have not had military coups. They have not had all those factors. And that they could have allowed us to also go the same way. That they, they were brave enough to split Pakistan and India, who were mainly persons of the Hindu stock, and divided them based on religion. The, mm -hmm. the Muslim, the Christians this way, the Hindus this way. But today, we are a marshmallow of sorts, a nation without identity. There is no single nation in, the, in Europe, apart from the United Kingdom, and maybe the Confederacy of Switzerland that has this kind of arrangement. But to protect the ethnic nationalities within those two spaces, half of Switzerland is French, half of Switzerland is German. That is why you have Spain, Geneva, or Geneva, which is French, and also have Zurich or Zurich, which is German. In 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 in, in Belgium, it is a fine arrangement where you have the Belgians are not a people. There are three different peoples that are lumped into, into Belgium, particularly the French people. And, and they are 
they have clear cut delineation and devolution of power. In Nigeria, those of you are in America, you may not follow it. All over the world today, the today and tomorrow, tomorrow is the final of the Euro football uh, event. In that Euro football event, they call it Euro 2020, that was supposed to be played last year, only the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland had four countries that competed in the qualifier. Three of those countries qualified. The three countries just in the last two weeks. England is in the final now. Wales got to the second round. And Scotland did not cross the first round. But all these three countries carry only one passport. The United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. Wow. Today, those in Scotland decide everything on education, power, this, oh, the only thing they, they bend to the to the to the to uh, London or the 10th Downing Street for is uh, foreign foreign affairs, immigration, and uh, and uh, defense. People don't even know that Scotland has its own Scottish pound, which is different from the British pound. I didn't now, know that. now, yeah, Scottish pound is different from the British pound. It doesn't even have the Queen. On the on the on the on the pound, that is proper devolution of power. Now, but they don't call themselves a federation. They don't even have a written constitution. Mm -mm. So it works because the operators of the system are as important as the system. Right. In Canada, which is just above where you guys are, you can decide to migrate to Canada and get migration certification from Quebec. Because it is full, federating, and autonomous. So once Quebec or uh, uh, as, 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 as my friend is there, of Sinabon Suleimi, you know, once they give you permission to migrate and stay, it is beholden on the central government of Canada in 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 in, in, in Ottawa to give you your cities, your 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 migration papers. Now that is what we face. Nigeria can be greater only when it is not tying itself to the apron strings of those who are still living in a jihadist 19th century. When the world has, so, has since moved on, Nigerians are thinking about driving cows from primary school classrooms mm. when neighboring countries are thinking of how to embrace bigger technology. Bringing to Europe to Ghana. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, Nigeria is like we are, I said, reverse osmosis. The whole world, according to Albert Carlo, is a friend. He said, the whole world, they progress, they go. Nigeria, they regress, they digress, they go. You know, that is where we are. There must be a systemic, committed, structural dismantling. And it cannot be done by the National Assembly. Nope. The National Assembly is like an abiku, obanje, hands tied behind their backs. Where those who are clamoring for are already disadvantaged from day one. When just one over four of the nation as a 1966 has now become 19 over 36. And if you add Abuja, 20 over 36. No. Why the remaining three regions are now 16 over 36. We have a caller for you. He's been holding. <laughs> I don't know how to stop you. He's been holding forever. Can he ask you a question? <laughs> yes, yes, ma'am. Yes. Okay. My wife is actually on the line. So what? Uh, uh, she knows I'm on national duty. <laughs> okay. Hello. Okay. Caller, your name. Okay. Yes. My name is uh, Father Chukwu Emeka, and I'm calling from Pennsylvania. U.S. Um, I'm, I thank you, Dr. Baseke. Um, in fact, since I heard your the, the the comments you made about the Igbo, uh, Igbo's being the oil that moved the nation, um, I I can't quote you exactly the way you you put it. So ever since then, I've been longing to to hear you. Uh, speak. So I thank you so much. 
uh, for coming to Doctors of Truth today, and we really uh, learned a lot from you. Mm -hmm. So mine is Thank not um, so much a question, but um, a passionate plea. Uh, having seen the situation of, of things in Nigeria, and uh, also the effort the um, Nina is, uh, has has made all, uh, uh, so far, and also uh, the Lower Niger block where all of us belong to. So my appeal is how, if you can help us, you know, let the uh, Lower Niger not be seen as the total in this business. Uh, because if I'm right, I think where we are today is how to stop political processes in the Alliance territory, especially the Lower Niger bloc. So how can, is it possible that you also put more effort in helping us in this? Because many of our people are seeing, uh, Lower Niger Congress, even the Constitutional Force Major as um, business of Tony Nadi. So if we have seen that this is the best way to go, is it possible you can help us with other people to convince our youth that this is the best way to go? Close shops, close political uh, uh, um, electoral, electoral, you know, let me not uh, break my tongue. <laughs> so, so just we call it closed shop. So if you can help us achieve this in your own capacity, that would be great. Thank you, sir. Okay. Um, you see, I, uh, when I spoke to Tony in 2019, I felt sorry for him. I felt sorry for him because um, <laughs> when we started the Midwest movement by default in 2016, everybody also thought it was all about Pedro. But as push begins to come to show, I've had more of my people, you know, um, when I walk the street, I feel safe because I know that, okay, if I go Lagos, they feel arrest me. If I go Abuja, they feel kidnap me. But you go hard me, they kidnap me for Bini because the people are with me now. Uh, it will always, there must be one man Ugolesho Inka in his book, uh, in his play, uh, 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 it was, a, uh, I forgot his title, but there must be a carrier. Tony must be the carrier. That is, and he should be willing to, as a carrier, either be Jesus Christ or John the Baptist. It cannot be both. It may either be Moses or Joshua. It cannot be both. You get my point? And, uh, but what is, Kusha is persons like him have to rise up now so as to tell Pharaoh, let my people go. And if you think that you're letting your people go will be easy, then you are not a Christian. You are not an apostle of the Bible. For the Bible says, even as all the things were being shown in the face of Pharaoh, you say, and that Exodus 9 to Exodus 9 12. We say, and God hardened the heart of Pharaoh. And the day God openly hardened the heart of our own local Pharaoh was when he described all of us as dots in a circle. So I believe that um, in the Nina's thing, you, know, you use alliance. That is our alliance. Because an alliance cannot be one. You know, it takes two to tango. You know, the moment it becomes a we, 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 my people, we are scared. We don't want to leave a house of Fulani hegemony and move into an Igbo dominated hegemony. Mm -hmm. So, but for that to be able to happen, there must be a, I, in our Niger Delta uh, Pali, I told them there must be a signing of a Bill of Rights that gives a man even if he's from the lowest or smallest ethnic nationality, just as a man in Rhode Island, mm -hmm. will know that you in, 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 uh, uh, in, in Philadelphia yes. or in Pennsylvania mm -hmm. will not come and ride roughshod over him. 
when that is done, it is easier. So Tony sent me some things last week and said, oh, that they were calling them article of, of relationship. You know, relationship. Ours, is, yes, ours is a bill of right that will supersede even the constitution. That is why your constitution in America will hold somebody and the person will say, I plead the fifth. Whether you should can inside toilet to, you know, we talk. I plead the fifth. And everything stops there because they know that even at the Supreme Court, that is a right, a right that is unalienable. That is, you know, if you push and come on, you know, if you shove them aside. So that is one thing. Also, I also believe that the collective sufferings everybody is suffering is not. Yesterday or a few days ago, while talking to the lady, I made an example of my mother in law. A brilliant woman, beautiful woman, came in. She had to leave. Nigeria, and for us to get her out of Owe, my wife and the sisters and my brothers, brothers in law, we're having nightmares in our own country. For her to move from where to leave Owe, she for her to leave Owe from Owe to Owe airport in Ungopala, less than 20 25 kilometers, was as if it was escape from, from, from Akatras. It cannot continue that, that way. And you have, you have to move the 74, 75 year old woman out of Nigeria last week. Well, because this is what we must do. So they are seeing it. Tony Nandi cannot feel the pain more than the man who is in the streets of Owerri and is being bombed. So it is beholding on them and those leaders within the space. They must be prepared. It is them we must, it is them that indeed were abroad must talk to. You must find a paradigm that will rein in the the election. I know it was election, you wanted to say the electioneering recklessness of the leadership of Igbo land or the proposed political leadership of Igbo. They are brigands, they are driven by a siren crazy dictatorship. And they have pushed the average bomber's jack boots. So the man is just fighting to survive, making just make money. But for how long will you continue to be lap dog? I'll do my best. I am a sharer in the Igbo nation. My first daughter is Ekinadese Obaseki. But all of them have Igbo names. My first daughter is Eki Amarachi Obaseki. The second one is Osayame Uchena. I named her after my, my wife. My first son is, we named my first son the same name, both in Bini and Igbo. It's Nosamudiana Chukunonso. That is who God stand by, you know, Obaseki. And my last son, who was born under magical circumstances, is, is <laughs> almost a Max Ebube. My wife says it's not Ebube, it's just Ebube. So that is, we shared it. I named one. My mother named one Igbo. My mother-in-law named one. And my wife named one. So that is, I am Igbo. And the forward movement of Igbo. I, I cannot be having uh, Igbo behind. My life is Igbo. Because if I die today, now Igbo woman, I make me leave. Because if I die today, they're not going to bury me for shallow pit. They're going to bury me with fanfare for Bini. Because I born two boys and two girls. That is equal, equal. I don't get a, a you know what, no, my wife born correct. So why I'm saying this is, there must be, is, I, I talk to Igbos in the marketplace, so we then get upset, but I talk to them. In my street in Lagos, everybody don't already know me. Papa Maka actually sits down to just come and say, hey, doctor, today, let's talk. And we will argue, 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 argue. Well, and that is what is meant to be. There must be a systemic way for Igbo people to be telling the real history of Biafra. The real history, not the tainted one coming from the IPO franchise. That is rogue, rude, uh, alienating, detrimental to the forward movement of Igbo. Because I don't want to be arrested by Nan Khan, who will tomorrow sentence my neighbor or myself to death because he's my leader.
Mm -hmm. I'll cut your manhood. No, yes, I mean, he says it now. They almost says stuff like that, you know. So I think that there must be a a rising up of indigo of appropriate proportion, capacity and ability. That if I look at him, I look at these women, these are three women sitting, doctor, this doctor, that you know, you already feel like wow, you know, and it gives you a I keep telling my, when people say, your wife, I say, they say, Ma, you cannot pass mass communication in Nigeria if you don't read my wife's book. My wife, up to January this year, was the deputy director of the Brothers Academy of Nigeria. So for you to pass radio production in this country, you read my, so I, what, what is she? A donation from the Igbo nation to me. It's the truth. And not to talk about my my friends, my students, my teachers, and the things I believe in. Not to talk about the the, the achievements of Indigo across the world, in trade, in commerce, in technology, in 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 how economic and how about peace loving? Peace loving everywhere we go, we we love peace. We want okay. I made an, it's the other day I showed you an example when I was I think it was I don't know why I was speaking with amongst you. And I told you that everybody that lives in my compound are Igbos. And I also told you I adopted seven children. Three of them are Igbos. One of them even told you I bought him a car. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. yes. If I did, so that, that, is, that is it. And so I don't have any... Uh, if, I, if my daughter wants to talk now, it will say Brian Fine. But Brian Fine is not his biological Brian Fine. Mm -hmm. If I want to get anything done and I'm not in Nigeria, Uzoma Akon will do it for me. I don't even think, I don't even bother about it, I don't even think, will it teach me that? No, 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 no. Because when the paradigms of engagement are clear, it will deliver us. Yes. That is the truth. Yes. And that is the part of the nation that should be pushed. If person wants to ride drop shot over a door, Delta Mana, we, we think twice. He knows we are stubborn, we will fight back. We know they carry last. We believe we are better than you. Our ugly women, we think they are finer than you, no matter how fine you are. <laughs> Excuse you. Yes. That is the truth. If I walk, if I walk into a space, I believe I own the space. I've, and yet I'm small. I'm just five foot nine and nine nine inches. So for a man, I'm not a tall. I'm not giant. You know. But if I enter the space, I tell myself inside my mind that I'm a Gulliver. Everybody is a mentally a pusher. Mm -hmm. If I walk into a space, I just say I'm strong on the moon. Here we go again. That's what I do. <laughs> so I, I don't. I, I, I don't think I told you. Don't give me questions. Ask it here. I will talk out. Mm -hmm. Is it is an innate belief in, in in God and then in me, and I think the only people that have it in this country are Igbos, and we must push it. The the can do attitude can be used to liberate the people, not for you to be can do and continue to be subservient and second class citizens to a band of never doers who are not education educated enough to lace your boots. In your That's own class land. Yes, in short, many of from the way it's going now. Huh? With what some of your governors have done, they've turned many members of Indigo into indigenous aliens in their own fatherland. <laughs> of course, the that cannot have what happened. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I don't want. I'm not scared of hopeless or the man. Ah. You know what? Let me explain why. I know. The, I know the, the man of Indigo. If you like, if you stand for here, nothing. You cannot be governor when you didn't win, exactly. and we are still looking for the results. He I don't know the other. After he all is married. That's what he told you know, me. I, I don't know anything about it. But what I saw in that day, as a, as 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 someone who is involved in the electoral process, the guy, I net declare results. Twenty something local government areas. They were disputing three, and you use the three results of the local government area to make him governor. What happens to the remaining twenty something? They don't count. So he's governor. He did not win one seat in the House of Assembly. It was between PDP, one party like that, and Abga, the party of uh, what is his name, of which he wants to. And then his governor. And then he will sit down. Say, no, Supreme Court, don't talk up. You do have for Now I'll fall my hands, seriously. You will do have for this Benin. You know what we do? Osho Baba. Osho Baba, yeah. Mm -hmm. Because then I said, Benin, not be Lagos, Benin, not be Imo. I don't know, be Imo. I don't, we're all over the place. We have a do not be Lagos. 
So after the election, they said they are going to the Supreme Court. We also told them, hey, do not be emo. <laughs> that doesn't mean <laughs> the sitting, we don't, it doesn't mean the sitting governor is like a it, sent. No, in our space, when we see that you are maligned, we see that they are trying to 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 Hold we on. all rally around you. You know, I thank you guys. I hope uh, I'm not. Um, I'm actually tired. <laughs> I, know, I know you're not seeing the yeah, thing. All, okay. all we're getting is that he has to come back. We need more lecture. He needs to write a history book. I'm serious about the book. Let's start writing it now. Our people need they need serious education. So I'm glad there's someone like you out there, Dr. Perseki. You just have met. I mean, from now on, you think we have confidence. We are extra confident now. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> so we are going to do a whole lot of great things, you know, because we have someone like you. So it has been such an thank honor to have you, you sir. And thank we you, cannot man. thank you enough. Our viewers, uh, I, I know we're going to get a lot of like, 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 like. This is what we're talking about. Thank God there are still men of honor in our land. Thank God, even in the Bible, they were looking for prophets. God said, Oh, don't worry, there are some prophets out there that are waiting to complete the job. Yep. And yeah. I think we have. We found one of them today, and his, his name is Dr. Beseki. Sisters, yep. please. Thank you. Thank <laughs> yeah, you. I'm over Thank you. Thank, you. <laughs> Thank you so much you. for honoring this, our small invitation. Now, we are going to invite you back because a lot of people are asking questions. There are questions that have not been answered yet. We know that, you know, I mean, you have the answers, so you'll be able to tell us more. And, you know, the synergy that has already been created, we want to just expand upon that. So we just want to thank you so much for being here today. We really appreciate thank you. you. Thank and you. Uh, we can't wait to have you again, like so soon. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Baseke. We appreciate thank you. you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, dear. Thank you very much. Thank you very, very much. Uh, which of you be Adora sister for you? <laughs> it's me. Oh, that's right. okay. <laughs> I told her, I told her, say your lecture is on air. I don't know where you are. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we are um, three hours into the show. So we just want to thank our viewers. We'll be seeing you guys next you. week. It has been a oh my god, I have no words to describe the go around thank today. You. So thank hope you. you've learned thank enough. You. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe so that way you get the. Uh, when we have something like this, it will actually uh, alert you as well. So thank Your you guys time. so much. We'll see you on next week. Love. Take care. Thank you so much. Yes, well. <laughs>